What's your view on that in, in terms of you know, people it, painting portraits and doing stuff that isn't what you would necessarily call traditional graffiti? I've got, I've got, I've got a view on it. I've, 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 so have you. No, we know no. this. But we're, we're, see, graffiti art now is non-existent. Graffiti art back in the day, we were vandals. Killer, killer, podcast. Killer, killer, official dot com. Instagram UK Frontline. Box created. Killer Keller. And we're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Killer Keller Podcast. Welcome to the Keller Dome. Subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Uh, big shout out to Graffiti King Sutter Place. Uh, well, ain't I out of my fucking debt for right now? <laughs> we have some certified OGs from the graffiti culture inside the place. Insane. Quick, Rich. put your masks up. Oh shit, it's too late. <laughs> no, John, John, they're going to know who you are. I ain't got fuck, a mask. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, Insane, gosh. Rich, no limits, crew inside the place. So well, you're K- right. KTC as well, ain't you? Yeah, yeah. I started, See, Dan, I started there, coast there, to coast. There, there's a story there that we were originally called Coast to Coast. Yeah. K That's for the coast, right. me, Rich Rage and Saga. And then we decided to, to mix it up and go to No Limits. Mm. And then who was it that came uh, yeah. to you and asked it, it, for the name? No, no, I taught Info the graph. Info, so, there you go, so Info. Taught, yeah, Info. Info hooked up with, yeah, with Rich yeah. and I gave, him the name, gave yeah. them the name, yeah, coast which coast. became KTC. And arguably Mad. they went on bigger and better yeah, yeah. than we ever did, but um, that's for another podcast. Mad. <sighs> Mad. Listen, it, it's a really, really, guys, it's a case of winding this up and letting it move, because we have been talking, talking, talking. I feel like I've been, sco- we're going to school. There's going to be a lot of school going on right now. <laughs> let <laughs> let the games begin, gentlemen. What was it like back in the day? Well, uh, before graffiti or, say before graffiti, well. Let's go before me, graffiti. Well, for me, um, I lived in Maidaville. As a, no, originally, I was in South London at first, Peckham. You were, you were yeah. in Peckham? Yeah, at first, so, yeah. What but the got, fuck? Where's this bed? But, but, but I tell oh. you, we got, burgled, oh. we got burgled every day. News flash, yeah. South London. <laughs> yeah, we got burgled every day. So, no, originally from West, but we lived in Peckham for about two weeks, three weeks. We got burgled every day. said, no, no, it's no good. Then we got sent back to Maidaville. So I lived in Maidaville. Right. Um, now, as you know, I was probably the... No, there's only two black families <laughs> in, the, it was like a, uh, in the area that I knew. And I was, we, we was one of them, yeah? I'm mean, a big family. Mm. So, but I used to go down to the Lubbock Grove and Harrow Road as a youth in the weekends. My nan, my stayed at my nan's house from um, Friday to Sunday. So that's where I got the kind of ghetto, had the ghetto life on the weekend and the kind of yuppie life Monday to Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had two sets of friends, actually, yeah. About that life right yeah, there. Yeah, and then um, obviously, you know, you're a young, young guy. I was going to school. Went to school, uh, St. George's. And that's where I met Rage, Foam, a few other guys that you, right. You need to put that in, in, in into proper context. That, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The, the, I didn't go to St George's, I, although we, we grew up yeah. in the same yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. And uh, your friends went your friends went there as well. Some of your yeah, friends, yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. uh, I had my mates went to St George's. My mum made me go to a, a school in Victoria, which is weirdly enough, I was in the same class as uh, Time and Prime Damn. was in my school as well. Um, and Saga for that matter, well, too. Rest but in peace. Going back to. Him, he was in the same year and class as Rage and Foam. Yeah. And two years above him was Fade Two from from Nonstop. Yeah. So you, but then we also yes. shared, but we didn't know each other. Damn. And we also shared friends outside of that. So um, I mean, Bunny lived uh, State yeah. Park lived around the corner at like Bunny Park. Mm. Yeah. Time was from uh, Listen Green Estate. He was on the same balcony as Kane from Nonstop. But I, I, but he, I, I'm going to Time Floor. Fifth time. floor. They were, I forget the name of the house, but they were on the fifth but he, floor. But he, he, he lived in Maidaville, though, after... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He moved yeah, to yeah, Maidaville yeah, yeah, yeah. after Listen yeah. Green because uh, me and him went to primary school in, yeah. in Maryland. Um, so, but then we also shared people like Titus and and Morph, yeah, Morph, Morph. and and the the Atabras, uh, yeah. who arguably were one of the original English hip hop rap groups, yeah. Power Pack, uh, Power Lords, Power yeah. Lords, Power Lords, Power Lords, they ring bells, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so you know, we had this loose connection anyway before mm. before kind of graph started. Everyone knew everyone, and so yeah, so what I say, or indirectly. So, me going to school. Um, is where I met my girlfriends. Where 
he had Roger, which is Rage, Ebony, which is Foam, and there's a tw- there's another guy, Brendan. He's snitching. He's giving them their real names out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the whole name, but you know what I mean. But yeah, <laughs> but, um, yeah. I mean, what's your comments go on it, this it, one? It's not, not Roger. It's not Roger. It's yeah, not Ebony. Yeah, but, no, 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 no. But, no names, please. No names. But, I'll give you some joke. What it is, you right? I, I, um, Subway Eight, Subway Art come out. So I didn't know nothing about graffiti. Mm. Subway Art come out, and I remember it's in W. H. Smiths. I told, I told, I showed him. I said, "Look, look what my mum bought me." I showed him the book. He went straight down to W. H. Smiths. He wrecked two of them straight away, mm. right? And he, if you ever speak to me, I'll tell you, yeah. Rich took me to the W. H. Smiths, showed him Subway Art. That's when Was his that graffiti. Smiths and Kilburn High. Yeah, Road? that's when his graffiti okay. um, life started. Kilburn but, um, High Road. Kilburn High Road. Yeah. There you go. But, and um, my first piece I ever done was in my school. I did a, I did a big block boss saying John. And this, this is so funny. Um, obviously, we're going to school, uh, you know, you got, you got your school line up in the morning. So, you know, in the playground, there's a big white wall. The day before, there was nothing, nothing there. The morning they come to line up, there's a big John piece. I remember I did it after the school um, school club. Mm. And I, know, I remember the teacher, get a man who done this and blah, blah, blah. And everyone's looking around like, and then Jay's like, my name's Johnny, it's, it's you, isn't it? And it's, yeah, it was me, but I mean, that was my first piece, yeah. That's a steep learning and I got, curve, right? I got, yeah. I, right yeah. Don't use your own name. Yeah, and I, got, <laughs> I, I only got reminded about that because Jason, uh, who's um, who's a state of art. Oh, Jason as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Airheads, he reminded me. Remember that thing you did in school? I'm like, he's, he's, he's like a hoarder of memories. He tells me stuff. I'm like, how does he know all this stuff? How does he mm. remember? He remembers, he remembers me, me, me taking him out on the tracks. So I don't remember none of this stuff. So I've got a lot of memory loss. So I get a lot of flashbacks when people um, show me stuff. Mm-hmm. But that's how I met, um, that's how um, me rage. And there was another guy in our crew. Um, there was actually, there was a, it was called NGA, Nasty Graffiti Artist. I, I remember, listen, listen. Yeah, tell you what, come a little bit closer into the, into right. the picture there because we, yeah. oh, we don't want to be losing We don't want to be losing you. All right. Sometimes if I pop in and out because I've been... Yeah, 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 we will elaborate. He's got a bad back at the moment. Yeah, so, Kim, yeah. 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 So, but yeah, going back to the school, that's when um, my graffiti sort of days started. It's when I saw the Subway Art book and um, Rage. And there's another guy called Brendan. But he, and he was part of the crew. There's, I was the worst graffiti artist because I, I, did, I started late. They were already doing graffiti. When did Cat come into play then? Oh, he came, he came closer. Yeah. Because what it was, as we was getting Grove, as we were doing many pieces... Because he came into it quite, quite, quite late, but mm. he was um, he was just a tagger. And then what it was, we was doing graffiti in Grove and stuff. And then we we uh, we met all different people. Like we met Matthew, met all different people. Mm. And then everyone come come in Grove. And then we had like you know we, we had like sort of unity. Everyone sort of hanging with each other. Mm. And that's how we sort of I met Keck and it, met Keck and his brother. Yeah, Keck Wayne, isn't it? Wayne, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yes. That's my boy Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah tight Wayne. I mean, so yeah, yeah, so you know that's how. And then, then they say graffiti was like. If you're playing like today's kids are playing arcade games or computer games on the Xbox, that was graffiti. That was our fun, you know what I mean. So that's how we met with. Uh, I met Rage and Foam from school, mm-hmm. and there was there was another guy. Yeah, another guy that was in the crew, but he came to Grove one day. I tell you the story. I won't say his name though. But he came to Grove one day. We just got because I got introduced to Lebrook Grove through Rage's friend Pisces. Went down Lebrook Grove. And I said, "Wow, man, what is?" I saw graffiti for the first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I saw, I first saw graffiti in Lebrook Grove. We were talking about this like, yeah, with yeah. Cla- uh, the Clash bringing Futura down, um, yeah. which is why yeah. it maybe became the epicenter. That's yeah. right. I came down and there's a um, in Grove like them times there. Scam One Up, it was Enigma. Uh, Demo. Then mm. Demo best scam. Oh, Artists were really scam, scamming them lot. They were like scam, break down yeah. b boys. They're breakers. You know what I mean, and Chase. Oh, tight scam. Chase, yeah, Chase. I listen. I saw Chase's brother the other day. Um, I was speaking about. I was speaking about Chase. Chase speaking, used to work in London Underground yeah. in the eighties, so he, he was getting up. He was right yeah. then up, but oh, he also worked. Stop um, it! Yeah. yeah, that's bad. So we had another guy in our crew that would have been would have been very good at graffiti because he was. I was the worst one because I started late, but was, we went down Grove one day, and um, Grove was known for getting robbed. Hmm. Like this was so. I had my own experience down there. Hmm. Me, Rage, and, my, and I had another writer that was in a crew. I can't remember his writer's name, but his name was Brendan. He was hmm. a friend. Hmm. Went down Grove and these rob all the Grove robbers were outside. We was tagging blah blah blah, and he said like, "Who was he?" Brendan was the white guy. He Brendan ran for his life, just ran. Mm-hmm. He just stood his ground. We stood our ground. That was it. He ran. He never came back. To he <laughs> that was he it. never came out of us again. <gasps> but he would have been a good artist because he was very good. I remember looking. I said, "This guy's good, man." And I was I was like the worst one. I started late. So Rage was with um, Rage and men started before me. So Rage introduced me to Kavi. So yeah, it's an interesting mentality. Like you guys, we did allude to this at the beginning before we started. We are gonna actually, we're definitely gonna circle around a lot of what we're talking about. 
you alluded to the idea that uh, the criminality factor, the, you know, either you could stomach it or you couldn't. There was a very different time back yeah. then. There was, there was pre-post-war um, uh, um, kind of, uh, you know, bomb sites. And, and th- you know, we're talking about 70s and 80s, you know, extracurricular activities, which was mm. kind of rife and there was a, you know, slap on the wrist I, here and there. I, I think you had that. I, I mean, I'm not saying that writing was you know, purely uh, working class because because it wasn't. Mm. But I, I think if you grew up in that environment, um it, it was it was it was a great escape because as you mentioned, there was there was no internet, there was no mobile no, nothing, phone. No, nothing, so no. I, I, without sounding like a cliche, you were kind of, you know, left your house, your mum gave you fifty P and yeah. you came back when the sun went yeah. down. Yeah, she never know what you'd done. And and you were allowed to to roam uh, I, I mean I was wandering around on the underground. I used to go to school in Maribyrn, so I'd walk from Maidavale to Maribyrn or get the tube at night. So you kind of go, your parents let you go off and do whatever. So Mm. we knew the tube systems early. It Mm. it, it was like, and then Subway Art appeared. And I I think almost at that time, we bought into the whole culture, lock, stock, and two smoking fucking barrels. It was the music. It was the clothes. Yeah, that, that. It was the breaking. It was the it was DJ. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we bought into hip-hop and the art was art. Literally every writer you saw had a uh, few mistakes on, which were yeah. not great running away shoes, which I found out yeah, to, well, to no my at that time. Yeah, yeah. And Kangol's and, and you stole Kazal's from the, 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 the local moment, optician. Yeah. And, and, and I think as it's evolved, it's changed. And, mm. and you kind of go, well, actually... You don't have to like it all. You can just buy into the art or the music mm. or all of it if you want. Yeah. But it, it was suddenly it was something new for us. Yeah. But that it hip, was just hip, 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 hip hop culture just hit me boom one time. It landed. I, I, I remember. It's very hard. I remember before hip hop. This is. I remember before I heard hip hop. I remember I was on TV. I remember I was just listening to Top of the Pops with my mum. But when hip hop came. Mm. That took my that took my whole life. It over. resonated. The whole, it just every, I just tuned into it. I, I zoned into it. When you saw them old African bottle, like you saw that um, what's that Buffalo Girl? Yeah, it was a Buffalo Malcolm Girl. McLaren. Yeah, Malcolm, yeah. yeah, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, all that, there was all those small clip, um, clippings of like African bottle, brim, and all that. Then I saw brim, you know, piece in Kilburn. Yeah. So when they came to London, you know, and I went a little bit grow, I started watching all these things, but you know, connected to hip hop. And that just that was it. My life became hip hop. I wasn't even, I wasn't even into no girls unless you're like, unless you're unless you're, you're a, a hip hop girl. Mm. That I mean, no, unless you're a girl did graffiti. I was, that, I, mean, I remember. Now he's not so fussy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But before it had to be a girl that does graffiti. Like was, this was the law. Everything was you eat, sleep, shit, graph. That was that was me. My house was bombed. My my chair was bombed. My bedroom was bombed. In school, every desk like we'd be in schools and we have play um, we have um. Different classes like science class, mathematics class, and everyone in school was writing. Like so, you got to imagine, with rage, foam, and a few others. We're the elite because we're going, we're doing the real stuff on the mm. trains. We're going to the, we're painting in Lebert Grove. But all of everyone in school was just a writer on the desk. Mm. This, this, this is in schools, everyone did graffiti, and I, and we was we was the elite. Like, we, 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 we actually doing it with spray cans, but most kids did it with pen and what a name on the desk. So in school, we bombed the desks. Mm-hmm. In the school, who can get up on the desks? That was like, that was like a main thing. Every you, you go to certain classes, oh man, he's been here, and we would all do burners on the desk. I never there was like enough lessons where I'm just doing a whole piece on the desk, not doing nothing in school, nothing at all. So that was like a, a way of getting wow. up in school. So you got to imagine you might get four graffiti writers and three hundred toys. Mm. That's how school was. Nothing's changed, really, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll I, I give you some... I, I, I'm going to give you some joke here, right? I always say this to Rage. I said, Rage, remember when we was toys? <laughs> he goes, what do you mean? I said, remember the piece? This is no lie. Mm-hmm. No lie. Listen, 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 this is some history now, right? Crow Angels did, did, did their piece in Grove. You know the one that says Angels? Yeah. Had the, he used to make them bad boy characters. They're right? legendary, yeah, yeah. Right? This is no... This is, no, this, this, this is history now, right? I, I was there watching them doing the piece. Pride and blah, blah, blah. Me being a toy, that's why, I, like, me being a toy, I went up to the corner of the piece and ripped my name. I can't remember what my name was. I know Rage was tops. But we was the first guy to tag the piece, the Angel's piece. But that was a thing, wasn't it? Well, the, 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 during yeah, the 80s, they would, people would tag pieces. And I, 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 I still don't know why. Maybe it's to, 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 to be thought, close to it. And No, we tag it. We tag it thinking, oh, it was going to see us. Mm-hmm. That, that was our vision. We go, oh, we tag it. Oh, we're up. 
because mm. everyone's gonna come and see this piece, Angel's piece. That's why I remember being a toy. Mm. So I, I, I remember the mindset of a toy, like, man, like, why, and I thought, why did I do that? Mm. I see him just finish the piece, just finished it. I went, mm. walked up in a corner, ripped my name. Top, I think it was top source, mm. I think. Mm. Yeah, but I remember doing that. I think it's a down. learning curve. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, all of that is, is, is a learning curve. Yes. And we, we were, again, we were talking about this earlier before um, Johnny show, showed up in, in, in terms of the, the way that people are about graffiti, that it's anti establishment. And you need to be, uh, you, you know what, fuck the government, bruv, and conspiracy theories, oh, cool. and, and this COVID shit, and there, mm. there are no rules and regulations. I ain't following mm. no rules and regulations. But the minute it comes to graph, it's like, you went over my tag, and it was because you know the rules in graffiti. Mm. There's a, you put a throw up over a tag, and a, a dub though? over it, and a piece goes over, and it's like, yeah, but, you're but, either assigned to the chaos theory or you fucking don't. Mm. I, See the people, sin city people, or it's people not like it. rules and regulations. Exactly. Mm. See the sin city or it isn't. Like, uh, like um, today's rules, like um, I put a post up a few weeks ago and someone, a few people messaged me, but some p- new writers didn't understand what I meant. When you have a Hall of Fame, I said, you shouldn't call Trillick a Hall of Fame. Why you don't call no, it no, a Hall of Fame? you're right, you are right. You don't I call Trillick because, because when you have a Hall of Fame, only the elite paint there. Yeah. Only the elite go in that yard and paint there. But it never was a Hall of Fame, though, was it? Well, it when, we, when we did it, it was Hall of Fame. When you, no, when, up until when you yeah, guys did yeah, yeah. it, then it became the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah because it, for you to go over there, you've got to do something better. Yeah. You can't just go there and... See, he assigns to the rules yeah, and regulations yeah. so, and the theory. So, you, when people say, oh, truly a Hall of Fame, no, Trillix is a, a, a free spot you can go paint. You should mm. never call it a Hall of Fame, because they only put to do burners. You shouldn't be able to anyone go... In a Hall of Fame, not anyone should be able to go in there. Or, I reckon in Trillix, they should have one wall for the elite writers. Only one wall. You don't touch that wall. The rest of the walls, you can muck around them. That's where they should have trillic. So then it brings a standard up. But rare. One day I want to paint on that wall. It sets a standard. Mm. I mean, because I say graffiti writers today, it's why, it's why I know... I said, listen, why, why do they do the same outline every damn time? I think it's like the safe space. Because there's that's, that's not a lot of, good, man. But there's not a lot of places where you can paint for the no, They do the same outline every time. I said, the colour schemes... Let me say, the new writers, your colour schemes are off the chain. I'm, I I love the way they colour it. It's because mm-hmm. they can because of the paint. No, but no, yeah, 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 no, but paint, but, yeah, but writers now can't. They got no imagination with the letters, man. Mm. I said they 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 do the same outline. I said that's not good. In our days, you do one piece throw it away. It's never done again. Never repeat. But today you're in an era where everyone repeats the same outline, or it might be a little slightly different here, but it's the same outline. Just, man, that's why graffiti. In, I've just come back into it here, and what I notice, we are way way behind Europe. When we left, when I was doing graffiti, and we left. We was it. Ahead, mm. I mean, we 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 were in a high standard. Now most of the Europe Europe countries they're way ahead of Here's us. Here's a question for you. So again, we were talking about this before you turned up. That that might be a running thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> in terms of um, we're talking about again. And, um, you need that. And, and if, you, if you think about the Michael Jordan documentary, have you seen that on, on Netflix? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, it's the really? fact that he would make up slights to to drive himself forward, and it made me think of Bunny. You need that, and, and Bunny was always of that mentality that uh, a, a battle is going to push him, p- will push everyone forward. Yeah. So um, we were taught, I'm not going to give yeah. too much away. Now I'm implying but you, that there's but something you, need... you don't know. There is something you don't know. But, um, but we ain't going to talk about yeah, that ne- on this Next show. year, it's coming. Um, just, just remember that. Mm. Have they really got staying power? That's yeah. all you need to know. They, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but then, so yeah. Like in, in all seriousness, if you think a, a battle is something that's going to maybe people have got too pally. And I'm not talking about slights and people having fights and arguments because that's petty no. and that's drama llamas. We do not need drama llamas. If no, you're a drama llama, there's a phone number for you. Oh eight hundred, go fuck yourself. <laughs> um, but again, we're talking about potentially. Um, you know, creating battles so you that, that you will you push need, each other man. forward. You have to. You to need create that, right? good pieces yeah. of art. There's room for everyone, yeah. every different style. Look, but listen, yeah, because this is why I see it. I said, do I look at graffiti now? I was like, yeah, they, they, their hand skills got amazing because the paint's much better, and that's good. Color schemes off the chain. I love the way they're filling the pieces. But I tell the artist, your letters should be. I'm mad about letters. I'm from the old school. Yeah. I want to see your letter style. You, I want to see. I know I can go to. A, I can go to a book. I can give me any word. Viral, I can do. I, I can outdo your name, your own name for you. So I'm, it, I'm about. Are you magic, saying their letters are shit? Yeah, the, the, yeah. So no, no, no. Look, no, look no, into the no, no, point no, no, and no, say no, no, no. your letters are shit. No, no, no. Do it, do it. No, no. <laughs> There's some bad boy writers in the UK, but the majority, yeah, the majority. Because in my days, everyone was doing high standard to compete against each other. The writers today, they're doing the same outlines. 
Back Subway art letters. Not Subway art filling, but Subway art letters. Simple letters, mate. When I, was, when I was writing them days there, them letters there, anything from Subway art, we, 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 look, we, look at it, we look into the future. So the writers today got stopped doing the same outlines. Not all of them, because there is some bad boy, bad boy pieces I see on, on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. So I mean, but the majority of writers need to, to improve. If they, every year they should be improving. Every year I should see different letters, different words. Because I'm looking in Europe and there's like different, so yeah, many pieces. Europe man. is mad. It, it's always been a, it, it's been a hub for just p- progression of, of a scene. Of yeah, a yeah, scene but it's, right? we're, 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 mm. I've just come back into the scene and I'm like, why have we, why has it gone backwards a bit? To me, like it's gone backwards. I'm like, the colour scheme has gone forward because, you know, the new paint, everyone's doing the colour scheme, but, the letter style, the majority of the writers, not all of them, the majority. Because I have to look up, I'm looking at pieces on Instagram, only a few are like, oh, I did a bad boy. So bad here's boy. a question for you, because again, we were talking about this before you turned. Um, street art. Now, what's your view on that in, in terms of you know, it, people it, painting portraits and doing stuff that isn't what you would necessarily call traditional graffiti? I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got a view on it. I've, I've, listen, so have you. No, we know no. this. But we're, we're, see, graffiti art now. And it's non-existent. Graffiti art back in the day, we were vandals. We were criminals. Graffiti art was criminals before. Now it's all legal aerosol art. I don't call it graffiti art. So I call it aerosol art. So there's room for everything, for artistic, for abstract. I love all that stuff. Graffiti writers... This is and, why he's my boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He gets it. He gets it. You can't cross your arms yeah. and yeah. say there isn't room for everything. There yeah. is room, there for, is room everything. for everything. There is room for everything. Yeah. Listen, Every... but, you know, before the rules, you couldn't, before you couldn't use stencils and that kind of stuff. Now the, it's aerosol art. Mm. I don't call it graffiti art. It's aerosol art. Yeah, so graffiti art with vandals, we know you were graffiti arts were criminals. It's not they're not oh, criminals right there's now. There's still an element of that. I, I, mm. Again, I get, you get a few guys doing the trains and the side tracks, but the majority, like it's all legal walls, there's no pressure. Like it's, 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 the time has changed. I'm kind of feeling like some of the new stuff that's coming on the trains is more exciting than the stuff that you're finding on the street. Right, this is what, this is what I'm trying to say. I'm they're doing, like they're doing they're what they do. What, what, it's, that's a, you give me a real. good point. What they do is what I see on trains, they're doing on walls. Nah, man. What are you doing on a train? You can't be doing it on a wall. All you got to take your time. I'm saying uh, for UK artists to catch up to Europe, they need to bring some, they need to have a rule. Stop doing your throw up or your silver as your same outline. They got to have a new, set the rules now. No same outline twice. So then you have to do outlines, man. You have to, because I know, I know a lot of guys don't do outlines. So no, it takes me a long time to do an outline. That's why they're lazy. I can do an outline, so I can do 20 in a week. Does this not then, if you sit there and, and, and start to think about it, that if people are, are just replicating stuff, and if, but then it, it comes down to why are they doing it? If you're doing it for fame and internet fortune and likes, go for your fucking life. You can paint in your back garden, put it on Instagram. No one knows where that wall is. Yeah. The picture goes up. If you want to be relevant in the graffiti scene, you need to be on trains, you need to be on track sides, and you mm. need to be up. But it's down to what you want personally. Well, see, see, see tracks, so mm. trains are on mm. Right. I mean, How do you get 15 wait, wait, minutes no, no. in the yards now? Wait, no, 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 but look. That's let, what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing, yeah. you got to forget, you got to forget about trains. I mean, if, if, if you do trains, yeah, mate, you're doing it for, you're doing it for the rush. It's not going to really run. It's not. You're not going to get the credit. But really, you're doing it for the rush. There's a big chance you're going to get criminal record. You know that that, that to train errors out is gone out the window. You know what I mean? I, you know, I'll be honest. Let me give you some joke here. When I when, let me give you some joke. When in the 1990s, I think 90, say yeah, man, 95. I used to hate tags on the train. I said, I hate seeing that shit. I became to a normal. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is weird. I remember being on train saying, "Fucking messy, messing the train up, man. I think it's messy." That's how, so I understand how normal people see it. Because mm. I became that way, like, what the fuck, man, just tags. You know what I mean? Because I, I, I didn't understand it, just tags. No one doing no pieces. It was like a few, uh, you know, it wasn't too much pieces going on. And become, because what it was, when we left, a lot of the bombers kept going. So the bombers be- became the futuristic artists, but then obviously the way their mindset was like mm. bombing. So they didn't, they didn't push the art. Which Remember, goes back to the school thing again. Yeah, so you got to figure, 87, we're in 2020. Mm. We should have went... Ooh, from where we left, where we left it, they sh- the scene should have elevated. So they remained stagnant. They went yes. backwards. But but uh, you, you, maybe you're right. I, I think, again, this brings on to, because we were talking about music and and you being, you know, pretty big in the game. Yeah. But every, I've got Black Ops, oh, they come on. Black yeah. Ops. Yeah. Every, 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 Original I, grime. I try, I try and pioneer. Every, everything I do, I try and pioneer. Mm. And that's what I did. Like, but, and see graffiti, like, see graffiti, like, see, look, the, the graffiti artists, because a lot of artists get it wrong. Like, oh, man, I said, listen, I said, Imagine this, right? Where say, imagine now the UK graffiti artist said, "You know what? 
None of us doing repeats. No one. No one's doing repeats. Can you imagine how much you would elevate? How mm. much you would elevate in one year, the graffiti scene. Mm. No one's doing repeats. Mm. No one. That means every time they're doing something, because you know what it is? They're just doing it for the gram now. It, it, it comes Especially. back to that. If if you thought about every piece you painted was a battle piece, mm. then therefore you put that much extra rather than almost becoming formulaic. It, it, it's almost like an alcoholic that they're no longer drinking for the rush. They're drinking because it's become habit. They're so habit. I'm just having yeah. a beer. So they just go out to paint and, and it's very formulaic. Yeah, yeah. Where, whereas if, you, if we think about going to the next stage and what Johnny's talking about and, and no longer... Are you just doing these kind of same same pieces? Yeah, it's you, you. Therefore, I, I mean, do you do it almost like so you you create a group and, and every week that you want to paint, you're given a, another artist and, and it's like it, it then becomes a battle. Oh, that's so it's like all right, old. I'm painting Saturday. Who's in for the Saturday battle? And mm. you, you're given a name, and when you turn up, you're given a word, and you have to then literally oh, right. See? create that, that's create fine. an yeah. outline right. for a word there okay. and then look, look, on the fucking that, day. I I, I, I can't um, take complete ownership or credit for this because Tizer did um that's good. no he did yeah hey Ed um oh shit no names no names <laughs> um he, he did a word battle the other he week did, and it has he won, been yeah. going a while but I, I mean is that not a way to maybe with yeah, the, the, the the UK yeah, I, right. I mean I'm fucked uh, well, my outlines well, take ages I've got my pieces he's got no UK you get your feet seen. People say, oh, you've been you're old school. Yeah, I'm old school, but when we left, we left way ahead, bro. Remember, when we were doing our shit, everyone was doing subway art stuff. We were doing separate from that. We was always ahead. So that's 87. We're in 220 with the paint we got. Imagine if, I'm, I know if Pete, if all the artists said, no, what, new outlines, everything fresh, the elevation of UK will, come, will go so far. So when did you stop mm. and why did you stop? I tell you what, um, I stopped because... Sorry, I'm, do, I'm yeah. doing your job for you. Hey, li- I, I told yeah. you, man. It's wind them up. Killer, killer when... podcast. It's Listen. the Matt Holmes. But I, I can say I'm saying podcast. Can tell you, I can, I, and it's a pleasure. Keep on killer. going. I'm just here for... Yo, with that. I'm here for the popcorn, man. I'm here for the popcorn. I can tell you why I stopped. Well, I was in a piece in the pit and um, someone sent me a throw. I did a piece in the small pit. So I did. we did the Trillet Towers and, I, and I was like, well, that, that was a battle. We just... Listen, listen. We crushed all comers. Mm. They know who they are. I mean, I was a little youth. They got cr- listen. They got trashed. Their crews ended after it. Yeah, mm. all them, all them London Giants, all them Fight trashed. Talk. No, no, no. This is raw. They, there was our piece stood for how many years? Nothing was even come near it yet. I was in McDonald's. Let me tell you how that all started first. Yeah, because people ask me. I, I, I thought you, you were digressing. All right, are you, are you, is that through old age? Right. Or, 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 <laughs> or, 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 or the drugs? Your painkillers. Let me tell you. Let me tell you now. It's funny how you remember stuff. Why did you stop? Why did you? For the camera, speak up for the tape. Why did I stop? You can't handle the truth. Right, right. Tell you why I stopped. Yeah, I was doing a piece in the pit. My last piece in the pit was yeah, and I got a photo. Guys, it's on my Instagram. You see it half finished. It would have been a burner as well, man. Jesus, I was coughing up blood because I was. We didn't wear masks, didn't we? So. Actually doing a piece, blood's coming out of my, just coughing up blood. <gasps> I said, oh, no more. And I said, I put the cans there, no more. Because I, 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 in, in that sort of um, period of time, I had, I had problems with my lungs, coughing up blood and some time, but I was trying to, nah, nah, it's not, I'm okay. But I went to doctors twice about it. So when, when I was coughing up blood, actually in the pit, I said, nah, man, I put the cans down, walked away, never looked at it again. Well, did it cure the, 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 the ailments? Did it cure yeah, yeah, I stopped doing yeah, because graphing, some of the paint, them paints back in the day, they like toxic, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, man, we, we, I sprayed in my bedroom. I painted in my bedroom non-stop. So you slept, did it? And man, oh, listen, listen, I was non-stop. Man, non-stop. I remember it in my uh, cellar yeah, as well. Yeah, it, so, well, yeah. Literally, you, me and Roger, we, we were practicing Imagine, in my, we're, going, in my we're going in Saint's house. We're going in his basement. I mean, painting in his basement. What, what house can you go in today <laughs> and paint in someone's basement? Actually, can we get into this <laughs> just in terms of different, you know, places? And I mean, you guys were very much Bakerloo, you know. you Bakerloo, yeah, yeah. You battered those lines. Yeah. What was it like on the trains back in the day? Like, oh, man. I, was there, I remember the red trains. Remember the red trains? Yeah. Red, yeah, remember the red trains? You remember, I remember you could smoke. I used to smoke yeah. and you could smoke. They had wooden floors. This is pre-King's Cross and the fire there. Um, I went through there that day from college. I was at Back Hill, Farringdon, and I'd come through. Mm. Um, but you could smoke on, on the trains. And, and there's some great pictures that uh, have been appearing on the gram of the trains during that era and how dark and dank and, and really quite oppressive mm. they were and claustrophobic. Hey, 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 you, you must have this, this joke. You know Maidaville, yeah? This is the Maidaville station. Because I, I lived in Maidaville, so every day I went to Maidaville station. Every day went bombing the Bakerloo line. Every day. We never used to pay nothing, yeah? Go down. And the, 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 was it the conductors, you call them? The ticket, the ticket collectors. Yeah, yeah. They, must, they just see me non-stop coming in and out. And they're like, this guy never pays. 
Because we, we, we wait till he's gone and then walk through. You can do it them days. They didn't the, care. Yeah, but they one day, and you know the big clue line, there was only certain stations where they had cameras and certain stations they never. But what was, what was amazing about the big clue line, days of one, they'll come down, the come down, the, you know, conductor will come downstairs and, into the big clue line, onto the platform, see the station bombed. Just look around and it, just see us little kids there. Here now, they, um, mm-hmm. they installed a hidden camera at Maida Vale and I was coming back from college and little did I know that the camera was disguised as a speaker and the two police were oh, up in the, uh, in the oh, office damn. checking out the camera. Mm-hmm. I slapped some stickers up, I dropped a few tags, um, came out of the, the, the exit bit to, mm-hmm. to go up the escalators and saw the two police running down with this station guard guy. So I, I darted back on the platform, ditched the pens and stickers. And and then tried to bolt for it again, but I'm wearing Puma States, which is I've said earlier. Which is it, the they're, they're, they're not <laughs> the smartest shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they grabbed me, and they said, "So now it's rush hour. It's about half five, mm. and I'm cuffed and being led up the escalators. One shoe in my hand because the other one came off. And, Shit, and, and, and it was just unfortunate that they were testing the camera at that time. So then they sat in the office and they're, they're, they're saying, um, okay, so who's insane? I said, oh, it's part of a crew. This was my initiation to join the insane crew. Strong. Um, I, I was 16. I was like, yeah, this, this kind of sounds all right. So then they said, um, I went to Howard Road, Nick, which had a bad reputation anyway. Uh, but they were, they were pretty cool mm. there and um, set my court date. The day before court, I went to Golders Green Yards. And so now I'm in court. Um, Kane came with me to, and the policeman who arrested me turned up and he was like, all right, okay, yeah, yeah, we know all about insane in Golders Green last night. So you're suddenly Ooh. thinking, so this is at that point, this is 87, I guess, mm. that they're, they're now starting to build case files mm. on people, yeah. which is why I created the tag in two. I had to stop in doing the same yeah, for a while. Yeah, yeah, so gotcha. anything like proper bombing, I, it was like, all right. It's it, it short was, as well, quick and short. It's yeah, not. And yeah. six letters mm. was too big, which when I started that in 85, in the same was too long. So you think in though. two. Yeah. And Wiki I tag. stole Casby Z and turned it into a two. He hated me then. Please don't <laughs> hate me now, Casby. Hey, I, 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 um, let, but, let me give you some joke, Wesson. The one guy you do not want to go bombing with who don't give an F about no one. Time? No, phone. 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 Yeah, listen, let me tell you, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> phone? <laughs> big up, yeah, big, big up phone, yeah? <laughs> phone the rascal, right? <laughs> listen, whenever you go out of phone, prepare to get chased. Prepare to do something that you not normally do by yourself. You'll be in a train, ram. This is a no lie. Metropolitan, ram. Rush hour. Sardine can. He'll actually move the person out of the way, right phone. The person say, oh, your phone. This is not, this is a, a, a ram carriage rush hour. He would just bomb nonstop. See, that's some status shit right there. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna he, get he, up to show you he, who he, I am. He was listen. I'll tell you another story. With, another mad world phone. Me and phone on the side tracks. Labbert Grove. This is our phone. Was nuts. He got one big plank of wood. Put it across the track. West Bond Park. So he could walk across. We could have killed hundreds of passengers. The train nearly come off the line. Oh, he just threw it on before the train came. He put on the put, um, you know you know where the where it had the big rich silver on the Westmore Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. We'd go there, put the wood across the tracks, the train would stop, we'd run up to the train, then throw up, time to and dust. Here, that, stop, you, stop a moving train. Do you remember when uh, <sighs> he, he tried to join... Someone sent me a picture of uh, a piece I did on uh, near Hapney Steps. Do you remember when they had the billboards there along yeah. the canal? And and it had um, Insane as a toy, this piece of shit, and it was all signed by, by foam. And I was thinking, why was he so angry? And then it, rem- it reminded me, and there's someone else as well, he, he wanted to join No Limits and you, Roger and Saga said, we're not telling, you need to tell him. You, 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 he was our school friend, you need to tell him. I don't remember that one, boy. And Russ as well. Mm-hmm. Remember Russ tried to join? No, no, no. Right, right, right. Rest Jefferson, peace, Russ. God rest no, no. his soul. Right. Let me, listen, let me give a bad joke about Jefferson. Who knows about Rush? Rush was the original two-pack in juice. <laughs> That's who Rush For was. For real? Listen, we was, in, we was in Gloucester Yard. This is how bad he was. You used to have a hammer right, on right. him all the time. We were in Gloucester Yard, bombing what? the yard. There's me, time... Um, everyone was there at the time, uh, Gunja, everyone was there, bombing, he was there, cross, bombing across the yard. Where I'm putting big R's and riches, he'll cross out the rich and put USH <laughs> in front of me in the yard. And listen, when we, when we burgled the, the CJ graphics store, three, week, three weekends in a row. That's no, time's drawing off, yeah, and, and yeah. allegedly, yeah, allegedly. Right, 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 allegedly, yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, put all, I, I, I put all the butt legs in my shed, 
Yeah. Allegedly. And he robbed my shed because next week you see him rush for ups and grove oh. in Buntleck. And he never had Buntleck. See, but we, I couldn't tell him nothing because he was like the, the, the graf bully. There was bigger graf bullies, but he was a graf bully. He robbed all my bunt like from my shed. You guys were like some heavy rackers as well. You were telling yeah, us yeah, the story yeah. beforehand about your rooftop having nothing but... Yeah, but yeah, but yeah oh, we no, built that, that was yeah, from, yeah. from the, CJ, the, the, the CJ same, Graphics, we did it. Thing. Times Drawing... It was Times Drawing... Allegedly, Times Drawing Office. It was CJ Graphics. No, it wasn't. It was Times Drawing Office. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It but above the Memphis Nightclub, I remember it. No, yeah, it was right off... off Let off it be known, ladies and down, gentlemen, down, I am down, living down, vicariously through you right now. This is just a joy. Do you know what I mean? Like... Way. Yeah, right, 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 we're right, talking right. about yeah, some yeah, of the yeah, most yeah, iconic yeah, moments yeah, in yeah, graph yeah, history. Yeah, yeah. Time's drawing off. It. I can't I, I, compete. I promise you, I used to work there. It was oh, yeah, oh, yeah, well, Allegedly, I used to. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. Back, yeah. back in the day, also, you used to have the um, Allied Building Kilburn. That would be where you would practice. Oh, yeah, yeah, practice. Yeah. Carpets. Yeah, 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 carpets. Yeah, um, yeah. Because we was always getting St George's at school. That was like um. Because remember, we saw state of art pieces and non-stop pieces all over the gaff. And we were big fans of theirs. And then imagine, we used to see them paint so much. And then we met them. We, we, no, we, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> we, 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 we're big fans of this, right? But they, we was, remember, we're, we're little kids. You've got to think, we're toddlers. Compared to, because when you're 13, or no, no, when you're 13, 14. He was really little and cute. He was, he yeah, was really young, right? Yeah, so imagine, young, right? yeah, so imagine yeah, when, you, yo, when you got... When you I, got I, I reckon he eats small children. <laughs> but no, but, 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 but when, you're, when you're 16, you know, you imagine school, when you're 16 years old, someone that's 13 is a kid to you. Mm -hmm. So... We was kids in the graffiti scene, mm. so no one even knew who we really was. Because who are these guys? But we're doing the big things. Mm. We're doing the big burners, but mm. no one knows who we are. And we just follow, go around, and follow nonstop, follow, follow him around, doing the pieces here, and we just watched him. And then one day he goes, "Oh, who are you?" So we said who he was, and we said, "Well, we showed him a piece we did." He goes, "Hey, you're all right still." But he goes, "Yeah." That's the way he goes, "Yeah, you, hey, you're all right still. Yeah, you've got some talent. You've got some potential in yeah. that yeah. arcade." We, we built yeah. an incredibly close yeah. infinity. Yeah. I mean, it, obviously with the Earth's Edge. Mm. But, I mean, it yeah, was let's cool. get into Earth's Edge. We have to get into Earth's yeah. Edge. Because that really was what definitive, that, that for well, me is what made it a Hall of Fame when you guys yeah, but, went and done but that. But Allied Carpets was the pre training ground for Earth's Edge. Because um, we were painting, I think in all that, 87, we was painting all the Trillic Towers. I mean, I mean um, um, Allied Carpets. That was, but, that was State of Arts. There was their ground. Mm. Because we started rolling around with them and um, we painted. They introduced us to yeah, that. Yeah, they, they brought, us, brought us there. I said, well, no, there, was, there was pieces there by KGB. Some guys from Europe, I mean, the pieces are very good, man. Yeah, the KGB. And then we used to go there. I mean, that was, listen, that was, Pikes used to live there, and they used to leave the nappies, man. Uh, listen, oh, the rats, tell us to the rats. story, that. tell us, oh. yeah, the rats and the, the nappies listen, and the eggs and all that. We'll be doing pieces where you're, there's rats running around your, your feet, and there's mountains of nappies and canned beer and doo doo, and whatever, whatever could be left by humans was left in this, this place. It's the most derelict, rundown place of all. But it was classic times, state of art, saga, insane, rage, me, Max. We used to go there. You just, you, 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 you go there randomly, and someone would be painting. Just, just turn up there. Someone's painting on the wall. You know what I mean? So that was like a practice ground, and it was, we were just going to every single wall. I remember that. Did you go um, when we went up to Sunderland and uh, uh, scam? I didn't go. That, I, missed, I didn't go. Yeah, I didn't go that one. Uh, we got a coach up for uh, Trouble Funk were over, and they were filming a video hmm. for I think the word. Yeah. I remember the word? Of course, yeah. Remember the word? And mm. so we literally coached it to seven hours and they, I, they'd never seen black folk up there. Mm. So this coach rolled in and I think I must have been the only white face and, well, Scam technically is not white. Um, but, and it, they just, we we got off the coach, hit this hardware store, like Rob Payne. You know, man, you had, uh, you had, you had some bad boy paints, remember, yeah. And, and uh, no, yeah. Heard like that, you looked terrorised. They just weren't ready. We, we did a paint, uh, a paint robbing it. trip to Canterbury as well. No, I, mean, I missed that one, I missed that one, yeah. Uh, and, and we found Rusto and Case Bray yeah. and, 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 and everything. But uh, this, so, and we painted this piece for, um, for the words. So if you ever watch the Trouble Funk, uh, We're Still Smoking, uh, in the video, it, it's this derelict ground. You can kind of see... AD and Scam kind of still painting. Do you and, on YouTube or something? Uh, yeah, 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 it's yeah, there. I mean, you can't make anyone out, but uh, it, was, it was a long coach ride journey for like two hours of hanging around, doing a bit of painting, a bit of racking, and, and, and then home again. That's crazy. The, the Earth's Edge as a piece has been in films. It was, I mean, it, again, just to reiterate what I initially said, it was kind of, for me, um, you know, we were talking about whether Trellick is def defined as a Hall of Fame at the moment, but Earth's Edge... Because I would agree that b before Earth's Edge, it really wasn't it wasn't that place. No, no, no. Yeah, but, but, but then it made it. Yeah, that. what it was. Imagine this, right? I knew about that pitch because I was to play football in there, mm. right? But it never came to my mind to do anything there because mm. the pit was always painting in the pit. Yeah. Mm. 
Which is just down the road, and it makes yeah, it. Exactly. So no, so none of none of the writers, even, none of the writers even knew about that place. That, no. that was. I knew about it because I used to go fishing my uncle, <laughs> so I knew about it. And I said, I said you know, going in and play football. So to me, it was like, oh, but I didn't think it. It's in an estate, so I don't think it's a. You're, you're allowed to do graphing there. Mm. I thought, oh, this, we're gonna get Nick doing. Mm. So what happened? Like, yeah, just the Earth's Edge story. What I remember, I was in Covent Garden. I'll give you some the start of it. We was in Covent Garden, and remember, um, we're, we're the youths. Me and Ray's are small compared to you lot. We're the toddlers. Mm-hmm. I remember, yeah, but no, we're, he's, he's older than us. Like, when you're 13, 14, and someone's 16, there's a, there's a big age difference. Nice, they yeah. were both very cute and lit. Oh. So, so we've been coming Garden, oh, hey. and I all remember, all remember that there was an argument going on, yeah? Yeah. Uh, with State of Art and London Giants and blah, blah, blah. And all I remember, remember as a youth was getting McDonald's. And I remember saying, yeah. Cross. Yeah, Charing Cross. And I remember saying, yeah, we're going to, we're battling. So the bunny looked at me, he goes, get your shit together. We're battling. That's what you told me. Oh right? my god! All right. So, because uh, I, I wasn't there with the conversation, because it's, it's big men talking. We're little kids, and London Giants ain't like, looking at me like I'm a graffiti writer. They're looking at me who's this little kid, but they're not knowing what I'm doing on the walls. That's how they have it. Yeah. So I remember Covent Garden. There was a big, big dispute. So it's funny. We went racking two weeks straight. We went racking everywhere. Every every home style case break store, Doopy Color. God, we God. went racking. We I remember we was going hard in. Anyway, the um. I said, Bunny, listen, we need to find a big wall. The pit's too small. We want to do something major. I said, I know a wall, but let me test that out first. I bought some white emotion, painted, white, painted two walls. No one said nothing. I said, oh. if no one says nothing, this should be okay then. Mm-hmm. Painted two more walls. I said, Bunny, I walked out, I brought Bunny and Kane down to the wall. I said, yo, man, this because no one's seen the wall this big. He said, well, how are we going to do the wall? How are we going to fill it? I said, oh, well, I'll, I'll do three, four burners. I'll do, like, we, had, we had two pieces. I said, but he goes, no, we need about six. You need about six. I had to go back, outlines. And he goes, this is a massive wall. If we pull this wall off, it's going to be classic. Oh so we kept it quiet, yeah? We kept it quiet. I've got so, goosebumps right now. Yeah, this is killing me. We Keep kept going. it quiet. Now, when we were doing Trillet Towers, Foam knew about it. I think Crash knew about it. Um, you know, we went wrecking, and then we started doing, the, you know, started doing the wall. And when Bunny put the character up, he said, whoa, whoa, yeah. We started, you know, the pieces start coming along. And then we started doing different stuff. We're putting abstract, you know, rocks in front of the piece and all that kind of stuff. We start pushing the new boundaries. I said, yo, this wall's coming along. Then um, I think it's, um, I think Crash, or Crash or Seas, we knew they came down because they saw the tags on the floor. So someone leaked out the wall to them, yeah? And they, they you know, they come down we, and the man said, I told the man to forget it, man. No, no one's competing with this wall. They come down, we saw the tags. That was it. They're like, it wasn't crashed. Yeah, someone, crash I, think, I, think, see, I think, yeah, no, but someone, uh, no, yeah, but someone come down and saw we saw tags and on the floor. It back. It, yeah. yeah, someone saw it and then it got, it got back to them and they said, yeah, forget it, forget it. And that's why the wall was never finished. Once we got told, forget it. We stopped. That's why we, we left some bits of the wall but unfinished. About, some of it was still there, like up until about um, five years ago. I, the only other yes. wall that mm. competed with that and it wasn't a battle was, uh, and it was probably about five years later. And was uh, my good friends um, Prime, Doze, and and PIC when mm. they did the Staying Power piece. I'll type PIC uh, and, and Prime and, and literally I, you, you've had um, Master Prime. On, mm, yeah, on, he's on, only on, recently. On yeah, it'd be and, out. It'd be out before. Y- yeah. Arguably, you need to speak to Doze because. I'd love to. Jet 97. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's the re-emergence of WRH. They are back with a vengeance. Mm-hmm. But Stay in Power was the only other wall that took up the side. Because if you look at... You had the big wall here and then the other slightly smaller wall was Stay in Power, which was in the 90s. They apparently had to cut all the vegetation back, which is why um, the Earth's Edge stayed there for so long. The top pieces were literally there until five years. You could still see your pieces five years ago. Wow. So, uh, I, I mean, maybe watch this space. Mm. Um, yeah, but, but that Earth's Edge, that pushed, that pushed us to a level. We said we were going to... We went to a level. And me... Um, Obviously, me, Rage, Kane, State of R, we said, let's go back and let's go back and we went to go back and do it again. If we go back and do it again, we wouldn't do something better. But interest graffiti was more or less gone because we battled the, the major groups mm, to come out. There was, yeah. no, there was no wall competition. So the, the enthusiasm disappeared and then we got into the music. But doing that wall was, uh, I remember it to today, even going to the, there's a, if you go to Trillet Towers now, when you walk, when you go to Trillet Towers, you go down the hill, yeah? Mm-hmm. When you go to the right, you're in the, the graffiti space, yeah? But to the left, there's all industrial um, slots. That's right. That was a bakery. A bakery. Really? We used to get... We, we used to, don't you rob, rob the fresh bread yeah, in the we, morning? We, we, yeah, we, rob, we robbed there. the fresh bread for the Damn. whole week. Yeah? Robbed the fresh bread. Every, that, that, I remember that. Never get wow. that. Wow. I'm not sure why and, and I thought of robbing bread because that's not really me. <laughs> I, I don't... 
No, and, 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 Duncan, Duncan, Duncan done there. Was one, bread, baby. There was one young boy. Um, um, <laughs> Ray, Ray, I saw Rage in my house a few um, last month sometime. He gives me, who are those young boys that hang around with us? So, funny enough, it's weird how energy in the, oh, the world gets mixed up. That following weekend, I met some chick from the music scene. And she's a, she was a friend of, um, what's that? What's that rapper's name now? Be- Betty Boo. Betty mm. Boo. No, it was Betty oh, Boo's... Shit. Betty Boo's a bro- little brother. Yeah, 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 it was a little brother. He's a brother. taxi driver yeah. now. He's he little, used to yeah. write as the well. The little brother I was a little guy teeth in the bread for us in the bakery. Uh, he's, uh, what did he write, though? What La- did you La- La- Road. Yeah. And I, I can't remember his name. There, there's, there's, um, there's some stock Covent Garden pictures, and he, he's in, in a yeah. few of them. Again, we, we, we were all talking about this, that, that there are a lot of uh, graph nerds that... We Don't know what to, you're talking we, about. We have to be internally, gra- eternally, yeah. let me my words right, grateful for mm. because we ran around painting not to take pictures or, or, or selfies or although I'm I'm guilty of that. Um, but it was more about having these kind of moments of chaos and mm. fun and and just really enjoying yourself. And but thankfully, people like Fade Two, Steam. Um, All the terrible, yeah. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up to you, massive. Yeah, big yeah, up, yeah, the man. Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah, to you. Big yeah, up, catch, catch, yeah, catch, yeah. yeah. defo. Yeah. But they were the ones that that have documented this. That um, thirty-five years on, or whatever mm. it is, have allowed all these pictures to yeah. emerge that we can post. They're, look, there's me when I was seventeen, yeah, that's and, right. and, and and you get these memories back. Mm. It's like, right, I, I don't, you, you I don't are, you're a lot of pictures. You're a lot of photographs. You are. Yeah, what can I say? I was it, photogenic. It, 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 I still am not. Oh no, no, this is this is the slightly it, 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 But but I also remember one thing about best Leber Grove. Right, everyone knows. You could just go like, like Labour Grove was known for being you go there if you go there with your cameras, you're gonna get robbed. Mm. It's the, the pit. Yeah, so you don't do it. And, the, and yeah. the people so and then at one point when um when we were, I remember when the, when they first brought out when they first brought out the train squad, the, the feds, um some kind of any squad. Street, mm. they? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Charred. Yeah, Charred. Charred I got, I got nicked, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. when I remember when they first brought out the anti graffiti squad. We'd be in Labour Grove by um under the flyover, yeah, by Westbourne Park, in between Westbourne Park and Labour Grove train station. All right. We'd be, all be there just chilling. The train will go by, you see a hundred flashes, taking pictures of all the graffiti writers. Crazy. Do you remember uh, Crazy. Wayne, uh, Rio 2? We, we were all hanging around in the, the there was a five-a-side football pitch, mm. just yeah. milling about as you did. And this train has gone by, and hanging off the back of the train was um, Rio 2. Wait, and he's just like literally one-handed, <laughs> waving mad. as he goes by. Because literally, where the platform, the platforms to Grove, Latma Road, yeah, sure. and Westman Park were quite similar to what mm. you saw in New York. Yeah. In, in the, they're quite that's open. Right, that's right. So where the trains pulled in, you could stand at the end of the platform jump on. and then jump on the back. And then when it pulled into Westman Park, you just jump off. Uh, no bother. But it took you um, over the over the bridge, which goes over Portobello, mm-hmm. and then all alongside where all the alcoves were, where you could paint, and then the five side football pitch, which is the skateboard park now, yeah. I think, and where we used to kind of mill about. It, it was artistically from a, or photographically, it was perfect. It, yeah, it right. had that urban kind decay, of New York. urban decay, yeah, yeah, New York, yeah, which we all strive for mm. at that time, that kind of bombed out Bronxy mm. yeah, that's feel, right. which, that's, 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 that's which, feel which like. you kind of strive mm. to, to be because you, yes. you wanted to be near your heroes in New York. I mean, thankfully, it's a bit like if you think about rap in the UK, everyone started rapping with American accents mm. just because they wanted to be like their heroes. Oh, Sun and Noise as well, as well, before we, we went any further. We, we, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but the, then the, the guys... Um, you know, Johnny including the Son of Noise, they, they they moved it on and, and then suddenly um, English rappers were, were rapping in English. Mm. Uh, you think about Roots Manoeuvre mm. and uh, th- there's that kind of almost Jamaican patois and a bit of Cockney. Mm. Kind Demon of, Boys it, kind it, of... Yeah, it, it, exactly. That they suddenly, we started to find, and the same with graph and fashion, we found our own feet mm. and we started to create our own culture, which and if you think about grime... Technically, one of the real godfathers I'm the one right I'm, here I'm, on I'm, the, I'm, I'm right. right. For, the, for, the, for those who don't know, for those who don't know, I'm the one who started that bullshit, man. Mm. I don't know bullshit, but I'm the one who started that scene. Yeah, All them, man, the, the fame, they were famous now. They went way, way after me, man. Mm. I was going to do your research. Making the Google, beats. Making the beats. The supplied, yeah, 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 the, the supplied prototype. The, the, yeah. the, 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 the yeah, that he was the song, the yeah. template. Yeah, yeah. Template, created yeah. the template for it, uh, which which moved it on. I was I was anti I was anti. Nah, I'm into American stuff. I want to do our own scene. So I started. You know, I mean, I said, oh, when I was doing that music, I was saying to record shop, this is the future. The kids below me, this is their future. And they never understood it until two years later on. Mm. Yeah, but this yeah. was like that channel U, wasn't it? This was mm. that mm. channel U was the portal that allowed 
beats of yours, even pre precursor channel you, but that was really the you had those MCs spitting yeah. on those beats that yeah. people just didn't yeah, we, know we, where it came man, from. Man, we, had, we had that, not, cause we, we was advanced, our sound was mm. way ahead, mm. <laughs> way ahead. I mean, the music from them days there, people still play today, you can't, they can't even emulate it. I even got asked, how do you make them bass lines? People, do you want me worry. to tell you, Killer Keller podcast does not fuck about, we know the history in this place, we don't yeah. like around, around here. Yeah, so, so pioneer, pioneer of UK I'm music. Death. I'm Tone <laughs> Death, and that's not my rap name either. <laughs> but, uh, man, but, but, if we go back to the old days, man, I mean, man, I must be up to hey, time. Time is time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, this guy, listen, he was the alcoholic bomber. A tenant and a marker pen. He bombed everywhere, but he was always drunk, man. Always drunk. Bakerloo. Bakerloo. All day. I, I remember going to Bakerloo, yeah, right? My mum used to see him in the park. I, I remember going to Bakerloo. Bakerloo, um, it's like, it's like, tipsy. Bakerloo mm. reminded me of like cockroaches that come out at night time. Like, you know, when no one's around, the cockroaches come out. Because I've been, I've been a station platform. And wait for everyone to leave. You know the station you're going to, you go to the train. <laughs> you get off the train, you pretend they walk up the escalator, and you double back. You know the routine, yeah? Mm. You wait for the side wall. And as you come out, as, as you know, you sort of time it well, as everyone's gone up the escalator, you, will, you will go back on the platform. You've but got I've done a minute it, I've, or I've, so. I've, I've done that a few times when I've, done, I've gone on the platform and then I've bumped into writers doing exactly the same thing. Shit. That's <laughs> how I met Fly, um, Flyboy from um, London Giants. That's how I met, um, that's how I met Time as well. What? I met who am I? Oh, um, Fly 404. Buff. I must have a guy, Buff. The buff? Fly My 44. Boy, Mass. Well, Mass, Mass as well. Mass, um, Mass. The, he, um, Buff. He was one of the first to, we, again, we He's were a big, talking big about this. big massive oh, marker. Yeah, yeah. He, he used the, uh, like the chalkboard yeah. uh, rubber but, that yeah, you I, get at school. Yeah. And did that so in dull, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And massive. literally, he, he mass. used to do that's these huge. massive tags. Yeah. But th that, that was the innovation. You, you're yeah. thinking Let's 13, get some 14, innovation 15 year old kids. We have to, yeah. And the small little pilot pens where you'd snap the top yeah. off and then you'd put a bit of foil at the bottom, wrap four around it, and use the kind of filter that was inside. Yeah, the so it would stick up about the felt for about that much, and the lid would still go on. And then you had these pens that then would go a bit flare out, and they, they, were, they were that big. Um, I, 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 I used to get hair, um, um, hair gel um, jugs, hair gel containers, take all the hair gel the, out, the, put a sponge inside, shoot ink. Yeah, dios as well. That the when the plastic dios for the buses for the buses. You, yeah, removed so you could create these yeah. like the, yeah. the, uh, these were the um, mops of the eighties yeah. and and kids learning how to freeze chemistry, chemistry right here learning how to freeze paints so you could then transfer it into another can and make your own colours. Yeah, where you that's couldn't a level. get pink or purple or or, or violet or lilac or whatever it was. You, People were learning how to mix, making their own caps. But isn't that part um, of the fun of it all? Yeah, man. Uh, it was. See, 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 nowadays, thing, right? everything's given it, to it's, you. it's on a plate. Like, even like music, I say, like. And fashion. Yeah. Like, mm. so the internet. internet. I want that. Boom. Boom. Internet's Buy it good. Here. Boom. It's yeah. delivered the next day. There's nothing, you don't appreciate nothing no more. Like, every, we're, we're, I call it the microwave ever. Far, everything's easy cooked, fast. Mm. Disposable. Like, yeah, it's disposable. So, never, like, never has no steam power. People ain't got the there interest for anything power. that Another anymore. shout out to WRA. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you not, owe me a pint of Guinness no, now, no, Mr. Doe's. It's like you can't create legends no more because nothing is because nothing is long-lasting. Long but here's the problem is people haven't got the attention power for somebody that is trying to do something individual. Mm. You know, it takes a lot of repetition because what you're doing is so different and isn't on the market that someone could... If they can't have it themselves and they don't want it, yeah. that's a, that is another yeah. factor. So so it's too easy to get. I mean, you think about all the stuff from the states, whether it was uh, the, the uh, double gooses or, or Philly, Zales, Philly blunts, or, or, or different <laughs> color Puma states. I mean, mm. uh, State of Art and I used to use um, markers and change the colors of the ones you could get. Here. Oh yeah, I remember it was a dive, yeah. Yeah, dive. But when it rained. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You were a little bit fast. <laughs> <laughs> they were, they were yeah. a summer shoes. I, I, I remember that. I, I did exactly. Yeah. I got the green one. Put the marker Your pen on there. Your socks would change. But when color. it rained, oh well, my man. god! <laughs> I, I remember I spray paint my show tops. Like my show tops. I spray painted them um, pastel blue with um, with the Pusco pens with um, with do, the pink stripes. Do you, do you remember? When but they were right because they don't crack too yeah, bad. They, they don't. They don't. They they done me good for a good while, man. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember when we went to Hammersmith to see Run DMC? Uh, and I, I think it was about eighty five, mm. and and that's when steaming first oh, kind of appeared. Listen, that's what I, no public enemy came on. This this is let me give you some joke. Like uh, this ain't a racist thing or like that. But none of us knew what they were telling us on the stage. As black folks never knew none of this stuff. So is this is this is a weird situation. I remember this. Public enemy come on. Talk about our, our history. And the way they were talking in the beginning, it was like abrupt. There was no compromise. It was the raw. So like, you'll be a black guy looking at it. The white guy like, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> this, no, I, I, it's true, it's true, it's true. No word of a lie. 
you be like, and you're, you, you'd have hate for the other, any other white guy that you don't know. The ones you know, they're cool. But the ones you don't know, they get robbed. This was the outcome. I mean, after that, on the train, on the way back, people get hard. On the way back, it was man, it was I mean, brutal. Man, it's trains, but, but battered, you bro. think that was, uh, yes, that was an, an, an wow. education was and, yeah. and a wake up call, not just for um, for black people, but for white people. I, I, thanks to Public Enemy, yeah, I yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. know who Malcolm X was. Mm. I, I've I've read that biography yeah, about you, three man. or four times. Oh, it, 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 they they educated. They stepped away from that violent rap, which was giving you nothing. To, to this educational, but I, I think but John how was scary, right. But how, that, listen, um, that train on the way back. Yeah, like, people well, lost listen, a listen, lot of stuff. Let me, let me be funny. I was going to walk in behind listen, apologizing air, as they were robbing. Air, air, air and robbing. Sorry. Sorry. Air, enough people's trains got taken. Remember, I remember all the Lesson Grove lot, st- all the steam crew, everyone that was white was getting robbed on the way back. Because we the anger that public enemy put, put in us, put they, you they, in they, they, they released the anger and mm. it didn't tame us. We went out of that rave. And if you, there if was no white, outlet. It, it yeah. was just it what was, you knew. That rave. Was, um, I mean, I'm, I'm mixed race. So I just got home. Got, went home to my parents. Say, mum, I don't know this stuff. Like, I didn't know. I didn't. I was, I was saying, mum, no, I don't like white people. That's how confused I was. So I don't like white. You're white, but I don't like white people. What they done to us? I was like, my mind was effed up for a bit. Wow. But that's our public wow. enemy. That when they came over here, isn't that check the way on the train? Train ride on the way home. Yeah, people know. Happens, people, you can. Um, if you interview people, say. Who went to the Public Enemy um, concert? <laughs> Ask them how they got home. It was notorious. That was yeah. That, that, yeah. that, that really went to the Public where the Enemy. Yeah. Steaming yeah. came from. Steam, yeah, train jam. Um, Steam, yeah. From that, and uh, the, the other one was uh, Ultra Magnetics at Camden. And, and do, do you remember uh, that? Yeah, about where, where, where they bum rushed the back door, back door mm. and, and, and CS Gas was let yeah. off in there. Mm. What, what Onyx Hammersmith? The whole place yeah. got robbed. Oh. The whole the whole street, the whole street, shopping centre got robbed, smashed. Onyx. Where was this? Where was this? Onyx Hammersmith. Hammersmith. Yeah, when Onyx Hammersmith came. Apollo. Yeah, when Onyx came, it was riots, man. But like the whole um, the whole, the, the, yeah, the whole Whoa. riots, man. Like these, these are certain things where the London went off. Oh, but like them days, then like you, because because of the internet, it just made it, it's like it's made everything vanilla. I, I, I go back. I go. I look on YouTube, right? I'm, I must be like a crazy person. My friend goes, like, "Why are you watching old trains?" Like sometimes I type in um, New York trains, um, 1984, just because I went to New York in '88. And I saw He's the Yeah, yeah, can I, yeah, I need to get into this actually, yeah, because you guys actually did go out to, you went out with Bunny, right? You, yeah. you guys wanted to, you were kind of like the first people to go out there and yeah. actually buck with them, yeah. those those characters. Yeah. Talk, talk to me about that. Oh, um, this, uh, just after the Earth's Edge, we're going to, you know, we finished doing graffiti. So we said, look, let's go to New York next year, mm. save our money up. And I remember our, my mum said to me, you need to get a job. If you get a job, I'll pay to go to New York. I mean, 14 or something, 14, 15, something like that. I remember, I remember I worked in Burger King. <laughs> I mm. see Cookie Crew coming in, and they knew me. I remember when I saw Cookie Crew come walking into the buy the Burger King. I left Burger King that day. Never, never went back. So went to New York. He did me. penny for the guy outside yeah, Made of Valley. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was old school, yeah. So <laughs> it was in New York. It was me, State of Art, Rage, and a couple of old from friends from the area. Fun go with you yeah, too. No, no, but I'm going to get to that. So we're in New York. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. We're in the under. We're, we're in the. Like, uh, let me tell you the, the first situation getting off the New York train. I'm all dressed in some English kind of smooth clothes. Some young kid walked up to me and said, "Man, you're gonna get robbed, dear nigga." I looked at Bunny. I said, "Listen, I'm buying clothes fitting in today. <laughs> well, I, bought, I bought a cap, t-shirt. I said, this, this shit's real. Remember, hey, 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 this is this is, it, this is real Times New York. Square was yeah, rough, then, wasn't it? This is raw. Was, um... Yeah. So we're in New York now. I'm trying to get on a subway train. So I'm on a subway train. It's all bombed. I'm seeing cold crushed dukes. On every line, cold crush dukes, foam, cold crush dukes. Remember, and I've stopped. We've, we've stopped graffiti by now. Yeah, we stopped. Remember? So we, we after the Earth says we, we quit. Remember, so the way the following year. So I'm not doing graffiti anymore. No but I'm in, I'm in New York. I'm seeing cold crush dukes on every line. I'm like, what? Did, this is going nuts. Anyway, so we knew he's in New York. Anyway, we knew he's in New York. So you know, seeing in the New York trains in the, the New York trains in them days there. It was like it was just it, we lucky we caught the end, end of it. Mm. the end of the last of the original trains because they were fit, that was, golden era yeah because yeah. the chrome ones coming in but you saw the red trains I mean the trains were scary man you should see the I mean, see the guardian angels they were everywhere really yeah they, they all wearing the red bandanas red hats so she was, would have scared intimidated yeah, they, anybody they, they, they were walking through like protecting mm. the people wow. the trains were trains, the, train, the trains were bombed I mean I said. Can you imagine that? I was like, just being listen, I, I love the that. It's listen, sterile now. Listen, when, I, I, the, I, I, when I went there, the car underground, to me, that was my best vacation ever. I couldn't believe I'm in, I'm in New York. I'm in Subway Yard. I thought I was a, a dream to me. And then, you know, about a week later into the holiday, we go to Henry Charvin's office. 
remember, remember, yeah, remember going to the office, yeah? yeah? It's too much. Yeah, remember going to the office and we're looking at all the trains. All the, and there was so much. You know, you know the big because I've got photos on my Instagram. You see me opening the folders, me and Mass mm. looking at the folders. So oh, Mass went with you as well. Yeah, yeah, Mass was, yeah, Mass was there as well. Why the fuck did I not go? <laughs> where, I, where the fuck was Where's I? Where's the memo? I, I, I think I, so you didn't I, need to email back then. I, I'm blaming it on drugs. <laughs> he was, I think it wasn't allowed. I, I, I think um, it wasn't allowed. No, I wasn't allowed. See, I was two years, three years older than him. And I wasn't allowed. Yeah, no, 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 Poor old whitey here. <laughs> they, they wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't so, have washed. So remember, we're there. Yeah, looking at all the photographs of Henry Charmers, please. And it goes off. Um, and we said, there's phone being there. He goes, yeah, phone was here. Phone, phone actually stayed there for a few days in Henry Chalmers' office. But then he said one of the guys that was from Europe robbed something from the from his gallery. He said, Henry said, look, no more. Can't stay here no more. Ah, shit. So we was, we was in the Bronx somewhere. 166, some tramp, some train. Oh, Imagine this. God shit. must have sent phone to us. We got off the train. Yeah. We see phone. I see somebody walking towards us. It looks like phone. Fucking, we, imagine the whole New York train system. How do you happen to be in the same train station as us at this particular time? It's called serendipity, my friend. So mm. we met from New York, so and then we yeah, met from New York, and then, I mean, uh, mad history. I mean, uh, that was a, a wicked holiday, man. And New York. How long you got there for? Uh, we was there for t- two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. And we all uh, oh, Delancey Street, all oh, because I went up. That's where you used to get the gooses down. Yeah, there, wasn't well, yeah. It? It, 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 what's so strange is yeah, that '88 was the heyday hey day of New York. You know, the heyday of the music scene, and everything you saw in the music, you know. Uh, Fortin Street, Albert Square, Albert Square Mall, Delancey Street, Canal, Canal, Ultimate Lake, Canal Street. We went all the places. We lived there. We, it was wicked. And New York, that, that's like that's how I'm, I saw New York. I went back there a year later. Gone. Yeah. I said, what? Gone. Graph was gone. It's over. It was like, I said, how did they clean it in one mm. year? Mm. Gone, zero. Weirdly, if you go there now, although it's a bit like Shoreditch, it, it's sterile in terms of it's safe for uh, ordinary folks. No, no culture, though, no culture. I, I, I mean, literally, uh, you know, you can go up into the Bronx, um, into Harlem, mm. or, or over into Brooklyn, or and the, the, the graph in and the kind of it, as I said, it looks like Shoreditch, mm. but it, it, right. it, it's safe, it, it, it's, it's lost its edge. And I think that comes back to the internet, you know, yeah, they killed talk it, about yeah. music. And, and art and fashion and where you had to literally hunt stuff down, digging crates for music and, and fashion. Mm. But now you literally go online yeah. and your favourite rap star is wearing a, a new piece by Supreme. It's a mm. collab with Stone Island. And you literally click on this link to buy it's it now. Or thing. queue outside to yeah. Supreme shop for seven hours yeah. having got a ticket. Or if you want sneaks now, it's like, oh, yeah, Lim- right. limited edition sneaks. You can join the get a lottery ticket and you may or may not get the chance to buy mm. that. Fuck off. Yeah. It, it, it's the ability it's too. to it's dress it's yourself to too, now it? and look unique has yeah. fucking gone. Uh, it, it, it's, I mean, I'm, we're all lamenting the loss. Everyone laments the loss of their youth. We have and... to fight. We fight for this. This is the, the individuality and, you know, the non-judgment of that. You know, we have to really fight fight for that as as. As, as human beings, as much as culturalists, wait, 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 wait. It's, all, it's all everyone's like sheep's now, man. It's like, yeah, man. Look, internet's messed up a lot of stuff, man. Mm. It's, it's good, and it's up, bad. Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful good, thing, it's and, good. and it's but, a bad. Because because there it, it was no control on the internet, that's why it's messed up a lot of stuff. Because everything's, everything's taken for granted. You don't appreciate nothing that was going on. But it's evolution. We were talking mm. about evolution before we met up with Rich, mm. and and yeah, there is there is something of. <clears throat> It's an organism. It keeps on moving. You pass the gauntlet on. You, it, it's it's natural progression. Isn't you have it? to accept it. I mean, it, it mm. nothing, nothing. It doesn't stand still, and you can't stay in the past. Which comes back full circle to your point about people just doing the same outline again yeah, and man. again and again, and how we've not moved on. Yeah, and I, I guess got, got, that's got, why we're we, here. We've we, we, we got, we got, we got to stress this. Yeah, mm. Graffiti artists in London, not the, not the, not the ten percent that's doing their stuff, they're doing some futuristic stuff, amazing. But the ninety percent, come on, man. Is there a new rule now, man? Nothing See twice. See the rules again already. It's, no, 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 no. We need to bring back the original graffiti rules. Nothing twice done. The only thing you've done no twice. Rules. There should be no, no, no rules. Yeah, but, yeah, but, no, they shouldn't be doing the same outline. Let's adhere to the chaos theory. You should not be doing the same outline more than twice. They're doing it. No, I, love the, I, love the, I love the disparity here of, of no rules, Sin City Chaos, and rules. Some rules. No no rules. Some rules. Because you know, you've got to look at it. If you, want, if you want our UK scene to, to evolve, we, they need to keep drawing. Get your comments on below. Tell us yeah. what you guys... You need, you need, you need, keep, you need to keep drawing. You need, your outlines need to go... like Right, right. It's like, look, it's, it's, this is a full graffiti writers. If you brought your book down, your black pad down today, 
I should be able to flip that page and see 52 styles. But I can guarantee you, most writers, same outline, but 52 colours, colours, 52 different filling styles. There's, I, I, someone was saying that, um, and that um, people hide behind their colour schemes and yeah, they fills, do. and it's not about the... Now, I... They do. Sometimes I don't adhere to that, because I, I love a good fill. And no, I, no, I, no. I understand what you're saying. I completely and utterly get it. No, um, but but I, I, I've no. nicked fonts. Uh, I've fucked yeah. around with different... I, I mean, I, I have done 52 styles, maybe because I can't find my own style. I don't know. But, um, no, but, no, but this, is where point, this is where it puts it. Now, you're saying that you, you get the fonts, yeah? But save us on with the rules there where you couldn't do fonts. You'll be, you'll be doing your own insane oh, I, right I've, now. I've got loads well, of... Yeah, uh, but I'm trying to say... They're not yeah, very good. But I'm saying to you, majority, like, gra- majority graffiti, yeah. Yeah. Majority yeah. graffiti yeah. writers... Yeah. It's majority, true. No, but the thing is, majority graffiti writers... I mean, I see the same being team. I see the same thing, but coloured in different. I, think, yeah, what I, can't, I can't understand why they do the same outline twice. I can't... Because it's like, oh, can't they do any other, any other outlines? It's just the brand aspect of it. But brand your, a brand's your silver. Brand, brand is your, 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 your brand is your silver. Your outline, your art... Mm. It's supposed to be come on, man. You don't see you don't see artists drawing the same building. They draw different objects. Not the same building. You don't see um, timber castles the same thing. Different colours. Mm. <laughs> why? Why is our UK scene become stagnant? Where imagine I made the music. I made it, I made it one beat all day long. I had a different MC on it. Arguably, there's a certain um, artist who painted some lilies, and I think he may have painted the lily painting more than once or twice or something. No, but come on, insane. (laughs) Graffiti, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm I'm from the girl in your leg. Man, if you're doing an outline, it should be like a tag. Your tag is the same everywhere you go, but your art should be different every time. Every time you do a piece of art on the wall, it should be different, a different outline. They need to bring the rule in, man. If you want to get, well, if if we want to catch up to Europe, no, I, I, I think you have to caveat that is it, it come, again, what I've said, it's about what you're doing it for. If you want the respect of your peers, then maybe you needed to adhere to this. If you actually don't give a fuck and you're happy doing the same thing, then go do the same thing. People are allowed, as you pointed out earlier, oh, to paint right. what the fuck they want, but, no, but they're but, not going to get your respect. Yeah, no, 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 no. We want to be ahead. We want to catch up to Europe. Uh, me as a newcomer looking in, I'm like, wow, look at this in Spain and blah, blah, blah. Look at their, look at their mad burners. So why did you come back? This is a oh, good I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Right, this is, this is, this is history. This is, no, right, this is big history, right? Obviously, I mean, I'm, I'm in the music business, yeah? Right? For those who don't know... I think I, you I, mentioned I, that before. I, I don't want to mention the guy's name. He's in the mix. He's in the mix. Right, I'm going to mention the guy's name because it's, it's kind of bait. But anyway, someone in the music industry... His name is Catch, yeah? but, he's, but he's very big in the music industry. So, mm. all right, I'm not going to say his name because he's going to blow it up. But Catch is a graffiti writer because it's a graffiti problem. Yeah, Catch, he's the guy who got me back into the cast. To you, Catch. Yeah, okay, Catch, yeah. Okay. So, what, so what it was now, we was in Iron Napa in 2002, right? This is a mad joke. So I went to Iron Napa to a show, and we're in Kentucky. I'm saying some, you know, a late night at Kentucky. And I remember he was doodling on the paper. I said, like, you do that graffiti shit? He goes, yeah, yeah, I said, I should do that. And he goes, I wrote my name. He goes, what? Are you, are you rich? I said, yes, yeah, that's one of the kid, man. So remember, I looked at that as one of the kid. But this guy, Catch, was doing graffiti, like, it was like a full thing to full thing to him. So he knew all the history. He goes, that's a follow you around, blah, blah, blah. But, but we know each other as music people, but he never knew, aka, as rich as me. Crazy. So imagine, I'm rolling around with him for two or three years doing music, hearing it everywhere. He's doing graffiti, but not knowing that, Cause he, he said, he said to me, you was, you was my idol. I said, follow you around your shit. I had to idolize your shit, not knowing who I was in the graffiti world. It's like that's how that's how he met me um, in the graffiti world. He knew me as you know Johnny Cash. Mm-hmm. So years ago, so by, is there a theme there? I mean, you think about it. Johnny Cash is his kind of stage name. I was gonna say Rich is and yeah. Rich is his tag name. So th- there is a link to... Yeah, well, yeah. Would you happen to be obsessed with wealth and money, more my money, friend? More money, more money. Was this a subconscious more money, thing? More money. Do you need to lie on the couch and, and, and we'll, we'll talk about it? This is your, <laughs> this is your therapy right well, here. So, so what happened then? So <laughs> last year, last year, I mean, every now and again, I think, I think Paul, speak up Paul's. Oh, whole um, time, Paul's. He, he did a whole of, he did them some kind of gathering in 2000, I think, I don't know what it was. That's an unsung dude, man. Yeah, he's a bad boy. Yeah, Paul's... Oh. Can't control. Oh my Crazy. God, man, serious, yeah, man, serious. Be up, post, yeah, for real. He um he did a few graffiti things. I did one or two pieces from eighty seven 
to 2015. I think the two posts put me out. <laughs> so, but 2018, um, Catch, because I, I know Catch is through the music. So I know Catch for 20 something years, but via music, by his other name. <laughs> he kept, he, he kept, oh, come on, man, come and try and do, come and do something, come and do something. So he took me down to Trillic to do a silver. <laughs> and I just did a silver. He goes, ah, you just did the silver off your head like that. So, yeah. <laughs> so when I did that silver once, I thought, oh, I'm kind of getting the bug back. And then I started doing outlines. And he kept, he kept pestering me, man. Come back, come get back into it. Because he got, he got me back, he, he, he honestly got me back into Cafe. So big up Catch. He's the one damn. who got me back into it. So damn. now we... Um, oh, yeah. And you're, you used to have, remember, you used to have a few meetings, didn't it? Them kind of graph meetings. Yeah, as, yeah. Well, as I, come along. Well, I, I try and drag him out. Yeah. And because uh, Rage uh, was kind of painting again, and he stopped. Well, Roger, you need to get back No, he's back out. on it. He's back you're on You're back it. on it. We, yeah. are, we have got the crew back together. Obviously, minus Saga, rest in peace. Uh-huh. Um, mm-hmm. we, we're going to replace him with some guests. Catch being one of them yes. is stepping into the breach. Hey, hey don't be saying too much. Um, mm. To hold the hole. Oh, yeah. oh yep. shit. Yeah. Loose lips sink yeah. ships. Snitches no, get no, stitches. That's going to get re-edited, that one. Don't go nutting. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so he basically he got me back into the graffiti thing. Now, when I got back into it now, obviously now I'm, I'm looking at this new paint. I'm looking at what people are doing on the internet. I'm like, fuck, man. How are they, how are they doing that? Mm. Come on, I'm from the old school where... The paint's different. So I'm actually watching, how are they doing that on the wall? I'm saying, rad. The, the That's art, cold, yeah. I'm saying, I said, the graffiti now, graffiti art, is turned to our art now. Because, mm. I mean, I, I, the art is, the graffiti writers today, you know, they're filling in. I'm like, man, I wish I could do that right. I wish I could. I'll, I'll get there next year. Give me, give me about 10, 15 pieces. I'll be, I'll be back to normal. But the way you're not filling your pieces in, even the guys who just start, man, filling in is perfect. So I'm watching on the internet, looking to all these different artists and I'm thinking damn what? and I look at all the, the, the guys that I respected here I'm thinking what they're only doing that that I do close my eyes like the outlines and stuff filling in I, I can't fill in nowhere as good as these, these, new, these cats because I haven't been painting that long alright and there's another, there's, there's another point I'm going to make when I was painting when I, was, when I remember I was painting them big boy burners when I'm 14 years old not big I'm not, not a man 14 yeah and we're using, and we're using the most bullshit paint and it's another thing I want to mention. We elevated in a three-year span to get to that level. I see writers today been writing for 10 years. Where's the elevation? You know why there's no elevation? No competition. No, 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 re- no, re- no reason. You need reason to elevate. A, a raison d'etre, if you, need, you, you will. Need. So every time you do a piece, it should be like, yeah, I'm going to outdo my last piece. Or I'm going to outdo my man. Because like, when it's a piece of rage... We used to be out, we used to we battle each other to ourselves. Mm. So we couldn't we couldn't do nothing rubbish. We was like, oh, you didn't peace today. But then we we we'll never see no one's outline on the day, only the day we turned up with it. So you need to bring that uh, to bring um the elevation game, you need to compete. It needs to be compete. You can't be just, oh, just I'm gonna so go it, paint. Is that the same? I mean, you're in the music game as mm. as are you. Mm. Do you both find, as I said, welcome to the Matt Insane uh, podcast. Do you both find that um you find yourselves subconsciously battling other musicians or or do they influence you or drive you forward mm. to say, all right, fine, shit, so-and-so's brought this piece of music out, which is fantastic. I need to up my game because I, I want to take it to the next level. In, um, or do you find it more insular? Well, you're just I've, I've got, of, I've got, um, well me, I've got my own lane. So I've already done that part in the beginning. But in the beginning, I, was, I had a rule. My shit has that bang in the club. I might have had a rule. When your tune plays before, if my tune comes after yours, my tune's got to smother your tune. So and you, people, yeah, so yeah. So so you come, yeah. But, but yeah. Then, did you find that? I, I, I mean, I, there, there are quite a few beatboxers now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, right, so I know I knew when to pass the corn on. You know, I knew when I was at my peak. And I was very athletic. I come from that era of battling, DJ you need that, battling. You, need that, yeah. Yeah. you know, when it got into music and stuff, I, you know, I felt like I was trying to reinvent the world, trying to put beatboxing on a record and shit. So that became a that became a, a competitive aspect. But on the whole, nothing beat nothing beat it being in the arena where you're Live competing. And yeah, it, it, it's, 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 it's a bit so, like painting, isn't it? it yeah, exactly. It's like, there, that's like a rush. It, yeah, that's a rush. It. That's so adrenaline, imagine, man. So imagine if you're graffiti artist, you need to bring that rush, that's that, right. that drug. Because like at the moment, going, everyone's getting along. Yeah, it's all nice and everyone's doing the same. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. And you know what I don't like about the scene either? Like you do a piece on the wall and there's there a big guy waiting behind you to go over it. Yeah, I... So I, I've, got, I've got a new concept. It's the concept I'm going to do. If I do a piece on the wall, 
I'm doing a straight silver over it immediately. Straight over, only me with the photograph. Mm. Because the way they have, they have no respect. That's why I say Trillic, they need to have one wall dedicated for the, the burners, yeah? The other walls, it's for, well, yeah, have fun. But that wall there, only quality stuff goes in that wall. Mm. They need to have one wall. So that's the, that's or the, your paint gets right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you need to have one. You, you, have you, need, to, you, you need to have one wall in, in Trillic. You need one wall where. That was only for burners, so then you see the elevation of the game. So, so imagine, right? Guy. So imagine, <laughs> you, you know, imagine, imagine you're in, in Trillic, yeah, and you knew the back wall was the wall for burners. You as a new artist or artist coming up, you say, you know what? One day I'm gonna paint on that wall. Has that been your head? One day I'm gonna paint on that wall, and you will elevate your game so you could paint on that wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to have reason. We need to bring back reason to bring back. You know what I mean? To, to elevate the game. Like I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go back. I'm trying, I'm trying to bring something to the council. I'm trying to go to the council at High Park. So when I start this the ball rolling, I'm gonna try and I'm trying to liaise with someone in the high park to do like a um, almost like um you build like a a coliseum like Rome, a round coliseum, just for artists. See so how much money that bring. You just go there. Imagine art in high park. People Sick. go there and just do art. That would bring Sick. so much tourist money. I, mean, I like to, I walk, I'm walking down the high park. I've got your birds flying around. Got this waste of ground. We just build a build a, a a wooden coliseum that goes around in a spiral. You never do two floors on one floor. And everyone goes and paint there. Do you do it as live art? It's like so, yeah, so live art. People, you, 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 you almost interact. So, yeah, you just go there and paint. And, and, and interact. Because that, that, how much, when I'm painting, like when I, I did a few pieces on my street, my own street I live on, hmm. I'm like, when you paint on the street, the amount of people that stop there and just watch. Hmm. So I think, where? If you were that in Hyde Park, how much people would be standing there watching what you're doing? That'd be so sick. Imagine Hyde Park, you can go there, and, like, any, any kids from the street can go there and do, and, and do the art. I did my garage door. Uh, it, it, um, I live in suburbia now. I've, um, but it, it, it's, it, it backs onto like a communal alley. Like hmm. you, 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 so you've got rows of houses in the alley, and my garage door, and you'd be surprised the amount of people. Uh, although some are like, "What, what are you doing?" But and it, it, you, because it's your own garage door, it's like, "What does the fucking look like?" I'm yeah, doing? wicked. Painting my fucking door, you prick. <laughs> Fuck yeah, off. Yeah. Do you want um, or other times, it, oh yeah, I, it, some some of them might be a bit more politer and say, "Oh, um, you know, I really hmm. like that, and I, I've seen it." And um, but some of these guys that go out and, and do illegals on the streets, mm -hmm. they'll just tip up and paint stuff. Um, I mean, people like, um, I, I think Arrow, uh, who I don't know, mm -hmm. but I, I love his stuff, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and Tizer, and they will just go off. And, and some of the stories they make up, that they get away with, they just bamboozle the old Bill. <laughs> with, with if you act normal, it, it, it looks is, like you. Looks like yeah, yeah. I, I, you, you can come up with a story, um, but then that sorry, just got, that's got me thinking of the. Um, there was there's always has been, and I hate to bring a downer on it, um, but but there's always been pettiness within. I think maybe it's human nature, it's that, which human is one nature. of the reasons, apart from women and drugs, that I walked away from it in the first place mm. it was like, just couldn't be asked or dealing with the bullshit and the mm. arguments and and the sh and even now coming back half the time I, i'm in this last 10 years i've been repainting I, i've and met yeah, people that you, i've never I must met say, let me give you some he's painting when i looked at, when i looked at instagram i said well, matthew's come remember when you guys used to really just started yeah. i said when i saw your stuff on instagram like Damn, my man, oh, stepped the game up, man. Yeah. Oh, bless yeah. him. Remember, I said you were right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I used to call you Artie Fox. I said, he's a pot, yeah. but it's... Well, I, it, it was yeah. just having some yeah, fun with it, but the, 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 the pettiness is, is still there, and, mm. and you still see it. And I don't know whether it's jealousy or, or general hate, and you see it on, on Instagram where it, it's like people are just really, oh, rah, don't like him, and he, mm. he's this, he's that, and, mm. and oh, yeah, I don't yeah. like that, and... I think it is human nature, yes, and, and yeah. that bit of it kind of annoys me, and and the whole anti street art movement, as you pointed out, it's room for all. Yeah, yeah. It's room for you can't cross your arms yeah. if you're not because someone else is moving forward and you're not. It's aerosol art. You can do whatever you do. Yeah. Spray can. Well, wasn't there a book called aerosol art? Yeah, but but that's what it's not. It's well. I call it now. Yeah, it's, it's now it's now it's art. Yeah, it was, yeah, you, got, it was, you, got, yeah. you got cans design. Right. You got can design for art. So it's aerosol, to me, it's not graffiti art. It's aerosol art. Hmm. You might do traditional graffiti style, yeah. but there's majority is aerosol art. I, I love all that. I love when I see guys doing graffiti and then you see their abstract Zachy. stuff. Oh. Man, I, mean, I love that. Because that stuff doesn't... That, my head is... Zach, Zachy D in the place to be. Uh, we see you. Yeah, I, see I love you, all, you bloody bastard. Oh, you got a, a question for someone, right? Who I'll touch Snatch uh, as well. Who, mem who remembers the... Um, Mold what was Mold? that? Snatch? Yeah. Uh, did you say you touch Snatch? No, shout out. Oh, shout <laughs> out to Snatch. <Sarah. laughs> <laughs> That's a bit fucking... That's a bit wrong. Oh, oh, Not on Matthew's oh, podcast. Yeah, yeah. No, come yeah, on. Yeah. And shout out, shout out Kane. If it, we're trying to get Kane to come back, but Kane, come on, man. you got to come back, Kane, do something, man. You know what I mean? So, There's yeah. so many heroes out there, man. Yeah. And I bet they're all watching this right well, now. 
I'm telling saying, you. Well, but, but the graffiti things that I like, see today, what, what, like I said, I'm, I, I love watching stuff on Instagram and I'm fascinated. How do they do that with a can? I'm like, mm. how? Because I'm, I'm from the old era, so I ain't even caught up what's going on. I'm like, how do they do that with a can? Like, especially with these, I see stuff on YouTube where they've got the fat cap, going fat to thin. Mm. I see man just painting with that one cap. I'm like, Oh, well. That's why sometimes it's nice to go down to some of these spots hey, but, but, and watch. Oh, late, oh, oh. Late. Hey, listen, listen. Mad C. Oh, is... well, listen, listen. The ladies, they, they, man. The ladies are like in graffiti art. They like the ladies in rap because the ladies in rap right now they are they're terrorizing the dudes in rap. It's right? For real, right? like they, it's pure lyrical content. They're not messing around. The ladies in graffiti, Jesus Christ, mm. man. I mean, they're coming hard, man. Hard. They're coming hard. Telling they're coming you, hard. I love the way. Hmm. They, I love that that mad, mad C. Whoa, she's hard, man. How tight girls on top as well. Man, they're hard. But For yeah, real. It's like, so the graffiti game, listen, listen. The graf- it's, we're in 2000 now. We can't be doing... 2020. This sh- yeah, 2020, yeah, 2020. We can't be doing shit mm. this year, next year. We have to elevate, man. Mm-hmm. And start... If you do the same outline three or four times, man, it should be like, nah, man. Can't we do that same thing again, so we're, we're, for, so for next year, what you're saying is we, we are setting the bench high. So you've now put... A, an inordinately large amount of pressure on, on every our eyes. shoulders. Um, because if... Yeah, I'm, I'm never going to do that in 20. yeah. 2021. 2021 uh, uh, is uh, the, uh, the uh, year. Uh, yeah. uh, listen, listen. I'm never going to do that. Listen, listen. I'm never going to do nothing twice. Never. That's I, 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 podcast I, I, once, I, I have outlined in the... I can, I can sit there with any artist, get a pen. I, I use by roll, you can use pencil. I can so outline... To, oh, to, I, to, paraf- already. to paraphrase Dr. Dre... Give me one more Earth's Edge. Fuck Graf, you can have it back. So I, I, See I, what I did there? Hey. Hey. <laughs> but, but, uh, but I suppose you could have gone down the platinum disc route because it works <laughs> with you in the music as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, but, yeah but, fuck Graf, you can I, have I, it I like, back. I, like, I, would like to, I would like to see... Good. I see people's Instagram, right? I don't say no names. But I see a lot of the same. I'm thinking, man, look, why can't they just try different? Mm. How can you have 20 photographs with the same, same outline but colour different? I don't understand. Cause you're, I mean, you're, you're you're more in tune with the new artist than me, but I don't understand why. Don't they look do at that. me. <laughs> don't drag me into this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, like, if I look at someone's like, if I look at someone's book, outline book, I say, man, look at the outline there. I say, take you need to. When you do an outline, you're supposed to take the letters individually. The letters are supposed to be have swagger, swagger, some style. There has to be some style. Cause some of these outlines I'm seeing, I'm like, that outlines are awful, but the color schemes are just color schemes. Can knock out. Hide mm-hmm. the letters. They that's, have, I, I they, think that's they definitely a fair assessment. Yeah, um, it's they, kind they of where it's... They but, hide, it's, it's let, what I notice now is letters and 3D. Mm. No, 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 it's 3D and colours, colour schemes. That is the piece. The 3D is off the chain, colour schemes off the hook, but the letters are mm, not really good, but the 3D and the colour schemes, they've got that to a T. So now, push the level, start doing letter so you know design. what you don't see anymore? Um, is productions. Yeah. Which, which, right, which, I was going to say, yeah. that was, was a big thing. thing. The production now, if, if, on if that. If you take non-stop, mm. they, they could all do letters. All do but production. Kane was arguably the, the better letterist of the three. State of Art could do characters. Mm-hmm. And and Fade 2 used to do the mad colour schemes yeah. and for the backgrounds. I love the good and, production. And I, I literally had the yeah, privilege yeah. once of... There, there is one non-stop piece... And um, it signed State of Art, Kane, and, and me. Because um, Pedro had to go somewhere and it was a bit... I literally did about th- that much, a little mm-hmm, bit of background mm-hmm. work. But it, it, it was always a pleasure to watch them because it, it, they produced productions mm. and they had people who were assigned certain jobs. And I think if you ask... Um, oh, in fact, I had a conversation with Doze and, and P in, uh, in my garden during lockdown and we were talking about um, staying power. And and then thinking about potentially, you know, maybe coming back from that. But they talked about that as a production, mm. and we looked at the picture, and and um, as much as you can see Prime's letters there mm. and and Doze's style, um, the, the the workhorse or the walk carry, if you like, uh, apparently was was P. <laughs> they, they, he did one kind of piece, but then they had him doing a lot of filling in. So rather than you, you know, you could put your outline up knowing that someone who you trusted come behind mm-hmm. yeah. and put the colours in. And it, it didn't matter too much about mad colour schemes because mm. the letters carried that piece off. So I think that's something I'd like to see yeah. again. Yeah. 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 Production. Yeah. Production. Not back. just like, not just, you know, you have the, you have the quick pieces like you're practising. Not three people painting together and all using but, the same colour yeah, scheme. Yeah. We're talking about production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I like that. Tr- I like what I'm saying. 
Stockwell, I like them. I like the, I like the art level in Stockwell, it's very good. Yeah, you know who killed it? Um, mm. like VOP, Stockwell. VOP, did you do great productions, you know, Mia, um, Styler, yeah, like KTC, 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 He's one guy, I said to him, I like your stuff. I said, I don't like, I like too much people's stuff, but yeah, you're one of the guys I like. It's about, it's about eight artists in the UK. I said, whoa, mm. I like, you know what I mean? Mia, Mia's just always comes on point. You know it's him hey, as well, and, and he's, but he's always he's, got a... Yeah, he's, he's got his own thing. And he's, he's all, what, what, what are they doing things like the map things they do? Yeah, crazy. Like, why do they do maps now? Bro, like, he's selling them like you're like, yeah, those, yeah, are, those yeah, are currency. That's man, his currency. Man, like, it, 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 man it's, Look, it's, it's, I, I think if, if I, again, uh, I have a lot of drunken um, conversations with with those late at night um, over tequila or, or, or bourbon. And, more, and, yeah. and, and, and we talk about um, how sometimes graph, doesn't translate too well on a canvas. Uh, maps are all right. I, I literally, I'd love to have a wall and laminate it with all the different, Me too. Di- different so maps. But if you go to some of these exhibitions, you look at uh, Mad C's canvases and they're like, it's a piece of a piece that's been put that's, up there and it really works. That's what I started doing. If, 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 like if you do a canvas and it's like a, a shrunken wall or a shrunken no. train, you look at it. I, I, person, that's my view. I mean, yeah. no, no, with no, you, no. Subjective, what, yeah. no. But I don't think I love it a map. Works. No, I love what a map. What well, you said perfectly, because I, I look at the canvases and I said, no, what I do? I've got, I've got three canvases in my house. I said, I'm not going to do letters. I'm going to do my colour schemes on the canvas. Yeah, exactly. Look, each to their own. Yeah. And some people uh, uh, like yeah. pieces on canvases. For it's me, I, it needs to be on a wall or, mm. or, or, or a train. On a canvas, it just doesn't do it justice. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't. And I sit there and I think it's not for me. But that's subjective. I mean, you're welcome to your own opinions. Comments below, uh, please. I'm, Comments I'm sure below. someone will put a comment that I'm a dick. Yes, yeah. I probably am. <laughs> that's fine. You are... It's titled to your opinion, but I don't like pieces and on canvas. All graffiti artists out there, the ones that are doing their stuff right now. If you said rare, if you said to yourself, how can I improve myself? Really ask yourself that question. How can I improve that self? And most of them say outlines. He's running classes and books. If, you, no, no. if you're going across the bottom, no, no, but, no. WW. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, no, I like, yeah, enhance yeah, your graffiti. No, you know, you know, you know why? Because before oh. I, ask, I, want, I want to see these artists I'm seeing now, I want to see them next year. I want to see different styles, man, different letters, different. I want, to, I want to see something blow my mind. I want to see something myself in my, in my, in my face. I want to see some bad boy letters because in I, our days. I tell you who did that and was one of the early adopters, uh, along with the like state of art, and, and um, it is, is fuel. Mm. If, if you look mm. where he went to quite early, that there's stuff that people are doing now, which he. Him um, and Prime together. Yeah. I, Prime as well. Mm. Um, I, I mean, that was. Oh, I was in school in in the fourth year, I think, which is year nine um, or year ten. That's new right. money. Yeah, they, they've changed it round. Mm. And there was so there was me, Time and Saga, and we were bombing throughout the school. And then one day, this Prime tag appeared, mm. and it was like, oh my good god, it, it, it's it's Prime. And he was um, a year or two below me, which is, I then got to know him and, um, and kind of hang out with him. And he took me, I didn't really do South. I still don't. I'm like a taxi driver. Sorry, son, don't do South this time of night. <laughs> um, and he took me to some walls that he was painting. And I think a lot of that London Giants thing, the, um, I, again, we had a Christmas drink up and I was talking to my, and I always used to say that I, I, I got, South and West together because you know I with you and that and he disputes that and he's probably right but <laughs> he had a thing with the Giants and he was kind of battling them by himself and and he introduced me to Crash who became one of my lifelong friends. Big up Crash. Um, yeah, um, Skateboard Crash. Yeah, my mum says mm-hmm. hello, Matthew. Ship giving his name away. Um, and they they created this thing um, and this was prior to the Earth's Edge, where they created this super group, uh, uh, a bit like you, you see with the classic rock bands mm-hmm, in the 70s, mm-hmm. All-Star Kings. That's, that, that's what that's you're battling them. Boom, um, well, boom. And, and All-Star that's Kings about, yeah. was, was part of No Limits. It was part of uh, State wow. of Art. It had Prime in it. It had... Oh, uh, it was yeah, collective, yeah, yeah. And they were... Uh, battling London Giants and, and, and there was some beautiful pieces in the pit but then Bunny then said fuck this we need to take it to the next level and do something with, which is no there's no coming back from which is where you got to the Earth's Edge yeah. and, mm. and, 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 and Johnny's story but th- th- they are th- there are some pioneers out there yeah. that, that 
that really pushed it forward. And, and, and you've got to think about um, people like Score and, and Merck, uh, who never really stopped and have continued mm. to, to document right. uh, the, the, scene, podcast, yeah. the scene going Hoarders through. Boy, Graf Hoarders, yeah, boy. Graf Hoarders, yeah. we love you. Shout out B-Boy documents yeah. as well. Yeah. Excel, whole Yeah, Excel. I, I, but there, there's, there's, there's so, I mean, there's so many names you can so sit names. here and, 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 and say that. I, I, it's like making new friends, as I said before. There's people that I didn't know. I didn't know those back then. It is ridiculous, mm-hmm. uh, and and now we're um, I'd say drinking buddies, um, and I, I mean I knew P, um, but th- th- there's so many names you, you sit here and, and then you're going to upset people, and then um, got to uh, say Drax, C- C- CBM Jack. as well, um, uh, you, you know Met and and, and Crept mm. and those guys. Oh my God, yeah. we, we got cast, um, yeah, we got we got cast, Cool Crush Dukes. Hey, phone whole cars are hard. We got yeah, Matt, I, I hold know, tight I, Matt. Argu- oh, arguably, oh, we, we did him a favour. Hold tight he, diet. He went on to do much bigger things than, than we did on, 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 on man, trains. Man, phone was a killer Accu- on hold trains. tight. Man, phone was a hit. We're just running out of names. Now. Listen, <laughs> boys. <laughs> 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 I'm just doing it. <laughs> and then DDS. Hold <laughs> DDS crew. <coughs> I'm soaking here. And Casby. It's not COVID. Casby, what... Ah, this is a good way of saying it. What the most graffiti writers are now are modern day Casby's. Modern day Casby's neat. Yeah, I, I think Casby, Casby was in them days he, he had American influence, but he was so neat. We used to say we used to love Casby's sharpness, but he, we, we was like anti because we, we was anti American. That's what it was. We didn't you know, own because we didn't know shit. Yeah, yeah. we didn't own. We didn't own UK thing. Casby was very neat, and that's what most of the artists now they do that kind of subway art stuff that I call them the modern day Casby's. He because he was from uh, around World's End, uh, and he knew Saga that they. Um, and Saga, Jason was neat. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. But he, he had a very, he, he had his own yeah, style yeah. It, it, hey. at that time. He, he, he was he off. He wasn't, wasn't doing that in America, he was doing his own thing, yeah. Off, off, off on a tangent yeah, yeah, with yeah. his colour schemes yeah, yeah. And, and stuff. And, and I mean, you're right, that there's just too many people to mention that you, you kind of literally, you don't want to forget people. No, no. And, you know um, who you are. No, no, yeah, yeah. No, zombie, so, hold tight, zombie. Uh, like, yeah, yeah no, I, the, big up, big up, hey, I've got to say, big up, You know, Yanni and those, but there's just, it's just go, the, so many wonderful people that I met then and now that, and I'm still friends with him from you know eighty five and, and until now and, and and everyone and it it was nice to um kind of come back I, I guess I had a hiatus as opposed to hmm. stopping yeah. as did you just took a little break from it no, you you, no, you, you I, when I went online listen, listen I had no joke when he goes oh when I start go back into the graphing <laughs> and I, I went on insane page. And, yeah, my man, there's enough, enough pieces, boy. I was shocked. That like he's how I let how I remember him doing graph before he elevated um, tenfold. I'm like, right. I was, I was I was baffled. So I mean, I, I must say I respect all the artists today, but I would respect you more if you elevate the game. Yeah, like we got we we have to push the boundaries now, man. Like I'm I'm not gonna come into I'm oh, I'm I'm no way as good as these artists today. But I tell you, know, if I'm writing for one year, two years, the way I man, you're not finished, man. I tell you straight. If I elevated, if I elevated them times to two years, and you've been writing ten years, and you've only got to that standard, I think. I'm worried, boy. I think we've gone full circle, and I'll tell you this much: we're done. I think the future is extremely bright because uh, there is some stuff that is going to be going down, yeah. but we can't talk about it. I've got to say thank you for having us. Uh, yes, it, it, it's been, and, 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 and it's been a pleasure. Real pleasure. And, and long overdue. And, and I, hope gonna, I hope we're going to get in the studio. I didn't know you did this music thing. So we get yeah, man. So yeah, you right. heard that here first. Yeah, baby. That's Black it. Ops. Black Ops oh, and Killer. I, Killer. I always said I wanted a beatboxer. If I can get a beatbox in my studio, man. They all know. You know. There we go. You know the deal. To be them, do them dirty basses. Yeah. That's what I want. Be the be bass my middle name. We're on this. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen. I'm going to do a Killer, yeah, yeah. Come on. All right. If you're still push. watching now, you really have got nothing to do with your life. Go to, go to bed. <laughs> get you to hear bed. me? Go to bed. Get to bed. It's too late. This has been Insane and Riches. Thank you very much. Smashed it, boys. Yes, man. Fulfilled yes, man. My, my ambitions completely. Bless and I'm so hands. thankful for you guys coming oh, through. Oh, one more question for you, all right? Yeah, I, I, I was asked this year, imagine this year, in the 80s, right? How much money the spray companies lost 
Because we wrecked paint non-stop. Even, think about America. Yeah, the they UK. did. But I, 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 let me that. flip it on its head. How much money are the paint companies making now? Now, yeah, making... Yeah. Because no one... You can't really rack that no, much. No, no, no. But well, in not the days, quality paint well, you never really heard of, You never really thought about the sh how much money they lost. Because look, in America, how much... They wrecked in America non-stop. So that was an industry that was losing money. Yeah, but hold on, wait a minute. Like the war weapon. was cars versus trains. So essentially, you were taking the weapons from the cars and attacking the trains. So the trains actually were the, they were the opposition to the cars. So the car companies were happy that you were going to go and hit the trains because it meant that cars were more, I don't know, more... Uh... But how much money was lost in these? Think about how much money was lost. While I'm having a piss, I'll think on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're out later. It was right. our fashion. Yo, yo. Thank you. Hit, hit, hit me up on my Instagram, Rich NLZ, and That's Johnny Cash Music with a Z. That's it. No limits inside the house. Stay lucky, people. Yo, peace. Oh, I'm fasting for this. How's your lip? <laughs>